Hello, the internet! It is Saturday, the 2nd of April, 2022, and welcome back to the channel. A little sneaky little YouTube-only stream here today, folks. Uh, well, well, hold on, hold on. It's not necessarily a YouTube-only, but it is a YouTube stream. And I know I'm broadcasting it across the stratosphere into DLive and all the other places, but if you are watching anywhere else and you want to be involved in the ch in the chit chat, come on down to YouTube. You'll find me. Gives a minute. That's where I'm at. This is the chat. This is the only chat I'm going to be looking at. Actually, that's not true today. That is, that's that's completely false. I will be seeing other chats if we have a call in. If you want to call in, I'm down for a chat. That's all I want to do on this stream. Just have a chit chat. So it's kind of a good thing that we're doing it. See, the, the option is to kill it on DLive. Stop the DLive stream. Now, this is what I consider an open mic. So anybody could take up the offer to call in. But there are some laws on DLive that, well, the big one is that if you're a X streamer or if you've been banned, I don't really know how it works. Are you either an X or you? I think it's just if you've been if you've been banned from D Live, I can't give you the D Live platform through my channel. So if you let's just say for instance, let's say Baked Alaska said, "Dude, I'll call in. I'd love to have a chat." Then I'd have to stop the stream on D Live and we'd just do it on YouTube. So that's the idea here. I'm putting it out there for anybody that wants to call in. It can be about any topic, whatever's on your mind, whatever's bugging you, whatever's annoying you, whatever's frustrating you, whatever's concerning you. We could even talk crypto if you wanted to. All I'm saying is today I'm down for a chin wag if you are. And I'm pumping this out everywhere to bring as many people in as possible. So do come down to YouTube town and find me. Gives a minute. You'll be able to find me in the, uh, well, in the description down below, but then you'd already be here. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, and while you're here, smack a runa, rack a runa, tina, tuna on the like button. I see five watching. I only see one like on YouTube. That's not very good. Five watching and one like. By the way, should we go over to DLive and, and, and try to bring some crew in? I guess we should do that. That should be a thing we should do. Let's go over and grab the machine of DLive. I did put a message with the little linky poo into my... Um... Hey, Flixy in the chat. G'day, Flixy. I didn't even see you there, man. Thumbs up. Thank you, Flick. How you doing? I didn't see you there, man, uh, er, earlier. I was going to say urgently. Let's go to my channel. Pause the stream Inception. Five, this is five viewing on DLive? Mr. B's in the chat? Hey, yeah, yo, 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 yo. Who's in there? Mr. B, Nameless, blo nameless Block, Beer Twisted. Sounds like going to Odyssey. You want to go to Odyssey? Well, I'm on Odyssey as well. I'm on, I'm on Odyssey. I'm on Library. Mr. B, hey, Nameless. So you guys are... Do I have to do this again? I'll put the chit chat... It's in the DLive chit chat there again. There I am, folks. That's the link uh, into the stream if you want to come over on from DLive to YouTube. Like I said, I'll lay this out and leave it open for anybody that wants to call in. Hey, I'm on Twitter as well. If Twitter machine, anybody wants to call in on the Twitter, come on down, have a chin wag. Aside from that, I don't have anything else on my mind. I'm clear today, even though the weather is all over the shop. It is gnarly right now. Kicking Saturday, I see you in DLive. How you doing, Kicking Saturday? Come on down to YouTube, man. Hit that linky poo. Come on into the tubes of you. While I wait for someone to come in and have a chin wag, this is something we've been doing daily on the DLive. You see this cranberry juice? It's cranberry. It's juice. It's a red... It's a sweet and sour juice, and I keep it down there because it reminds me to do this every day. The idea is having half a cup of cranberry juice. This is a measured cup, half a cup of cranberry juice every day. It's a little medical remedy that Rich Santic, if Richard comes in, will say good day. If he's not, hey, Mr. B's in the in the YouTube chat. G'day, Mr. B. How you doing? Good to see you coming over from D Live Machine. 
Uh, Richard Santik's father swears by this as a local remedy? No, a herbal remedy. Or you Americans, herbal. F forget the H. You don't forget the H on helicopter or hospital, but you forget it on herb. It's an herbal remedy. Half a cup of cranberry juice daily keeps your prostate nice and small skis. Also helps you sleep throughout the night without having to get up to take multiple slashes. Apparently, I've been doing it now. This is my second one. And by the way, Rich Santic, he did PayPal donate all the money to be able to afford all this cranberry juice. This is, like I said, we're halfway through here. We've already had one of these before. And uh, it isn't making an ounce of a difference to me. Spoiler alert. Tastes good, though. It's sweet, sour, and bitter at the same time. Ah, very bitter. Yeah, better. What? What? I do like it though. Yep. What was that noise? Don't worry about it. So that out of the way, just in case you're wondering why they're down there, I usually move them for a YouTube stream because I do this on DLive, the drinking of the cranberry, but I left it there for the sake being. Doc Holiday, how you doing on the YouTube machine? Why aren't you on DLive? So today, uh, Doc Holiday, by the way, I'm going to give Fleekski a cheers. Fleekski. Mr. B. Hello, Ski. And Doc Holiday. So I always do, uh, once a week I do a YouTube stream. It's usually this day, well it's the same day, but it's usually earlier in the day. Today I thought, let's do something slightly different and do the YouTube stream when I would do my DLive stream. The reason being, well it's twofold. The first fold, folding number one, is that it's possible Do I want to open this small can of wormses, or do I not want to open this? It's possible that steak? D... Money's still tight for steak. Steak? Get your cut of meat over to YouTube Town. Hello, Ben and Cheers. Cut of meat, cut of meat, cut of meat, tumbler glass, tumbler glass, tumbler glass bottle with popping cork wine. That's the greatest one ever. Shyla and a $15 super chat. What? How you doing, Charlotte Rose? Get your cut of meats over to YouTube town. Hello, Benon and cheers. Cut of meat, cut of meat, cut of meat. Tumbling glass of whiskey. Did it say? It didn't say whiskey, did it? I don't think it said whiskey. Tumbling glass of whiskey. Shot glass of whiskey, I'm going to say. Champagne glass. And it didn't say wine glass at the end. Or did it? Gee, i got a terrible memory. I can't recall what it said. But I, I want to thank you, Charlotte, for the donation. Very kind of you. Hello, how you doing? How you feeling? How's the uh, esophagus? Charlotte Rose uh, did go for surgery this week. Wait a second. Wait a second. The twofold reason why I'm not on DLive or while I'm why I'm doing my YouTube stream. So I used to separate the two. I used to keep them separated. I used to always make certain I didn't mix up. I didn't mind mixing up DLive outside of DLive, but I definitely didn't want to do a YouTube stream on DLive. My reasoning there was because I've always felt very, I've always felt very strongly that DLive is the future for streaming, whereas YouTube it's like a little bolt-on additional thing that, I mean, it works for a big name channels, doesn't work for a small nobody channel like me. But I always do once a week on YouTube just to sort of keep things rolling. And sometimes we have a good stream and things pop off and we have a good conversation. Sometimes it gets views outside of the stream too. Like my um my shark stream, which we talked about, should you have watched that uh that um great white attack, those videos, that still gets views. That's, I think it's clicked clicked over three thousand views, which is a lot for a replay or for a VOD. So I've always sort of thought about keeping it separate. Um, but sadly, the way that DLive has gone sort of progressively downhill, I kind of feel like it may be almost over over there. Um, 
There's another reason why I say that, and that is because I'm currently putting together what I'm referring to as the almighty Book of XD live streamers. It's a PDF booklet just listing all the X streamers from DLive. And I've asked you guys to put in my Discord the streamers that you recall. And what I've done is, as you've listed these streamers, I've often looked at their profile when I'm compiling this book. It's got graphics in it as well, and I've got screen grabs and whatnot. And I've seen a lot of streamers put big long lists of their favorite streamers, or it's like their, their crew, if you like. And so I've always gone on and checked all those streamers from each one of these people that you Yahoo's have recommended. Then it goes down this rabbit hole into a different terrain or a different circle of streamers. And I've got to tell you, there's not many of them that are still there. And when I say not there anymore, I mean, if they haven't streamed in the last month, I consider them left. I consider that's a leaving of DLive. If you haven't streamed in a month, you're, you're not a streamer. So if it says uh, last live five days ago, that's still a streamer. But if it says last live a month ago, you're not streaming anymore. You're done. You can't stream once a month and think you, you're a streamer. You're, you've are you dipped your feet into the water. And what I'm saying is, as I go through and compile this book, there are so many streamers that are not... In fact, I'm up to 290 streamers that have left. And I know, I know, I know. That's only a tip of the, the ice bucket. So this book could get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm going to do it in segments and release it. I'm going to release it to the public. It's released kind of in a temporary form to a few in my Discord currently, but I'm going to release it publicly um, in stages because it's, an, it's a never-ending list of people that are getting added to that book, as sad as that is. A lot of VPs, a lot of GPs, a lot of people that got, you know, 1,000, 2,000, didn't, didn't aspire for a VP or anything. They just quit. Really sad, really sad. So that's why I'm kind of like, I'm doing this stream today as kind of like, sort of like my DLive stream, right? Like this is when I'd be doing three hours on DLive. And today I'm just going to chew, chew the fat with you over here on YouTube. To which I'll say, stop, David in the house, David 2010. Sup, Gives, how you doing, David? Good to see you, good to have you, good to know you. Uh, Doc Holiday, yes, YouTube is a dying platform for small content creators. I, um, my take on that is it's not a dying platform for small creators. My take on that is it's never been a platform for small creators. It's never actually, it's never taken care of small creators. It's never promoted small creators. So I wouldn't say it's a dying platform for small creators, but I would agree with you that it's not a great place for small creators. It's very easy to get pushed down, 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 right to the bottom. And be, being as large as it is, YouTube, the bottom is uh, filled with a lot of people, right? Speaking of a lot of people, I see 12 Yahoo's watching this on YouTube right now, but I only see six likes. What? Six only? Can we get at least closer to the actual number of viewers that have watched liking? So smack a runa rackarini on that like button, tip it, tap it, tinkle it, twitch it, top it, and do all the things with it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd say about that. I'd also say that it's YouTube is a funny place unless you want to do what YouTube want you to. Now, what do I mean by that? It's very simple. If you just create content that makes you happy, unless that content is going to make millions of others happy, you're never going to achieve anything. Case in point, my channel, right? I don't I don't chase the trends. I don't care for the trends. I just create content that I've always created. And I I coincidentally put it on YouTube. It's not coincidence. It's very well planned. But what I'm saying is I definitely do not try to follow the thing that YouTube tries to teach or tries to instill in everybody. You've got to go and set yourselves. You've got to go and uh, niche down and you've got to put this and you've got to put that and you've got to do this. I don't care. I do not care for that. And therefore, I'm very well aware that my channel will never go anywhere. I've resonated with that. I've found my, um, 
oddly enough, I've found my Nietzsche elsewhere, um, and that is <laughs> the niche of not caring. I just don't care. I've never cared. I've made all these videos, and you guys are getting you guys you guys are seeing now on my From the Vault Friday. It's it's getting closer, or it's moving more into the time of my history in filming, where I was starting to vlog. This goes back to like 1995, I guess. What you're up to? You got a great one coming next weekend. Do you guys know about Magnetic Mountain? There's a place in Richmond, which is north west Sydney. There's a place called Bowen Mountain, which is magnetic. And we went there. Oh, do I want to blow this? It's coming up on From the Vault Friday in a week's time. I kind of want to blow it. Hey, it's a good story. Anyway, it's a magnetic mountain. That's it. You put you you. It's just a nondescript bit of road. You drive down the road. It does like a little S bend, and it's, there's a little speed sign there, and you stop. You turn your ignition off. Put your car in neutral. The car rolls back up the hill backwards. It's so trippy. Um, I've heard people talk about this, saying it's an optical illusion. You don't see a horizon anywhere around you, and so therefore you think you're on a downward slope, but you're actually on the other angle. To my response to that would be, well, that can't be it because we arrived there the first time at night. So you don't see any horizon. You don't see anything except for the road. So if it's an optical illusion, if you've never ever been there before, which I had been as a kid, we went there, funnily enough, at a church camp one of our church camps, we fellowship, uh, Friday night fellowships we used to go to, they took us out there. Hey, by the way, I see 10 likes and 11 watching. That's a better ratio. What? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Thank you. That's much better. 10 likes and 11 watching. That's really cool. Thank you. Uh, I will address the chat in a second. Um, yeah, we went there on a church camp when I was about probably 12 or 13 years of age. And again, we got there at night. So we'd, I'd never seen, like these people, these debunkers that say, oh no, it's not magnetic and it's an optical illusion. Well, the very first time I ever went there as a kid, didn't see any of the surrounding landform. Just saw the road. There's no there's no lights. It's country, right? It's rural. Well, it's not country. It's it's, it's hilly and it's it's country. It's, 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 it's a place called Richmond. It's not that far from Sydney, from the city, but it's country enough. And, um... Yeah, there's no street lights. It's just a dark country road. And and all you see is the road in front of you. And so we went down the road and stopped. And my um, church leader, uh, Steve, okay, Steve Kendall, or anyone that knows him on Facebook, Facebook, um, yeah, turned the engine off, put it in neutral, and we rolled back up the hill. It's like, what? And we put a basket. We, dude, we took a basketball and put a basketball on the road and watched it roll up the hill. So, I mean, I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> You, you will instantly you'll say basketball is not magnetic dude so it can't be magnetic fair point so it's not a magnet it's not an optical illusion what the hell is it it's a place called bowen mountain b-o-w-e-n well that's the area it's in it's very nondescript there's nothing there you gotta know it's there and we went there just like just recently we went there in 1993 what year did i leave high school I left high school in 93. We went there in 1994 or 1995. And that's what's coming up on From the Vault Friday next week. And here's the thing. Why did I tell you that? I guess I sort of went down that little that little journey just to point out that sometimes content does make an impact on YouTube, which makes very little sense. Well, that's not the right way to phrase it. Coincidentally, it, it makes an impact on YouTube. So I don't, actually, we should do it. We should do a search. Oh, what's my mail client on? I'm streaming, you forgetful streamer. Turn off your mail clients. Holly added you to her want list. We would like to show you sexy dating profiles of women in your city that are looking to date someone in your city, in your city twice. Press here to check out sexy dating profiles https dot dot my link dot today i don't think i'll be clicking that best of all you can start contacting the sexy dating profiles of the ladies you want to meet date and sleep with as soon as today but i'm busy streaming i cannot i can't do those things all at once what are you talking about 
I haven't got enough time. I mean, this email is pretty compelling though. Uh, to not receive this message again, please click this link. And I shit you not, the link is the same as the link to click out the sexy dating women profiles. Or you can write snail mail to them. I'll give you their address, folks. Stallion.com. Thestallion.com. FSC Limited. 12 Kingsland Avenue, Kingston, Wisconsin. 10JM. If you wanted to write to sexy ladies. I mean, get your pen, get your pencils out and freaking get ready to write a sexy letter or you can click this link. I will not be doing that and I'm deleting that and I'm closing my mail client while I stream, folks. Um, <laughs> Flixy, there used to be streamers that promoted DLive more than staff ever did. Author Joe Holt was a good example. I do remember Author Joe Holt. Yes, I do indeed. Doc Holiday says, really? I thought it was really friendly and channels grew fast in the mid 2000s. You were thinking of YouTube. So I guess, okay. So I think YouTube began in 2005, 2004. You, yeah, you might have a point there, right? When it was in its infancy and all you saw was like cat videos, you might have a point. Um, but definitely, definitely not anymore. Like that ship has sailed. <sighs> long time ago the earth is flat the roundness is an optical illusion prove me wrong skis crikey you want to go down that avenue i mean i'm down for a chit chat i don't know about that one though who want okay any flat earthers out there calling the flat earthers we want to have a chit chat you got to be willing to come on camera oh shit oh shit um i'll take a foot level i'll take a four foot long level and put it on the road people have done that doc holiday people have done that oh my god you're funny gives thank you davo i was trying to be so i appreciate the fact that you spotted it what do you got your detective glasses on you saw the humor thank you man robert m 1989 rob is that rob ozzy is that rob ozzy are you in there with another profile rob ozzy what YouTube started Valentine's Day 2005. Bingo, bango. I called it 2005. Right on. Quick draw McGraw 357. DLive blows. On YouTube, the shorts are the way to go. People's attention span has actually gone down over the years, according to studies. By the way, how you doing, Quick Draw McGraw? Hello. What's cracking? Good to see you. Good to have you. Here's the thing uh, shorts are not monetized on YouTube at this stage. I put up a short. But I didn't call it a short and I didn't do the hashtag, but it does come in under the minute mark. It's a 59 second video. It's called Baxter Ruins My Happiness. And it's when my niece sees a lovely butterfly and Baxter whacks it out of the sky with a stick and the butterfly drops to the ground dead. And she says, you ruined my happiness. And I put that up on my channel. I didn't call it a short. I just put it up as a video and YouTube automatically classified it as a short. And now it's on my channel. I'll show it to you. I'll show you what it looks like. Let me bring up the tubes of the U machine. Yeah, and the reason, okay, so here we are live. Let me just go to my channel. And the reason I didn't call it a short is because they don't, they don't monetize them. So if you scroll down to my bottom of my channel, look, here it is, a short. Kid wax butterfly out of air mid-flight killed my happiness. Do you want to see it? It's pretty funny. Ready, peeps? Oh, it's a butterfly. Baxter! I literally got it. <laughs> you just killed a butterfly. Ready, peeps? Oh, it's a butterfly. Baxter! I literally got it. <laughs> you just killed a butterfly. That's a short. Ready, you probably can't see it. Oh, it's Spotify. Baxter! I literally got it. <laughs> you just killed a butterfly! How did he get it, too? Ready, peeps? Oh, it's Spotify. Baxter! I literally got it. <laughs> you just killed a butterfly! So that's a short, but I didn't call it a short, but YouTube did, so what What can I do? I, I mean, I, that's not monetized, um, but either way... Uh, at 300 and or 285 views, I don't think it matters. 
That's lame as fuck, Quick Draw McGraw. Pretty good, brother. Good to be here. Thank you, man. And it is Rob Muller. Rob Muller, 1989. Now, did you did you change your profile or is I'm, am I just forgetting? We haven't seen you for so long, Rob Ozzy. I'm going to call you who you are, Rob Ozzy. You can't slide under the doorway with me like that. Rob Ozzy changing his profile. Keen eyes. I think he fluked it, Charlo. I think it was a fluke. I think it wasn't intentional. Oh, we're going to have a look at the... Um, so what I was trying to say, right? This this magnetic mountain. This video that comes out on Friday may pop, right? It may be a, a, a sensation on YouTube because it is it is a searchable thing. Let's go to YouTube. Um, magnetic mountain. New South Wales. Bingo bango. <laughs> The road where cars roll uphill. That's not it. Kind of looks sort of similar. That actually does look. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We can't be watching YouTube videos. We're on. We can't do this. We're on D Live. Oh, what? Um. Oh, there's a video. Bowen Mountain Magnetic Hill. Ten thousand views nine years ago. Okay, so maybe it won't be that much of a viral hit. Um. I guess there's a few of them. Magnetic Hill, Lee Ladka. The hill where gravity reverses. Magnetic Hill debunked. In remote Australia. Remote Australia? That's not it. That's a different one. Magnetic Hill, South Australia. There's one in there's one in SA. I used to live in SA. Never saw it. There's one of the actual one. Here we go. Bowen Hill, Bowen Mountain, Richmond, Hawkesbury. 91 views a year ago. Okay, so I was getting excited there thinking I might have had a... I might have the chance of a viral video on the tubes of you, but given that that one went up last year and it's only had 19 views, was it 19? 91 views a year ago, so I don't really hold out any hope that that's going to be a viral hit for me. But um, I guess that's illustrating the point that I'm not putting up content searching for that and I'm not chasing that and I'm not changing my content for that. But if things pop up, for instance, from the Vault Friday or or something um, something like topical or, or camera related, like there, actually I should shut up about that because there is something that's happening soon. Um, and I've got some, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna say a thing about it, just, I'm not chasing trends, but certain things may come your way. And if you if you're interested in like things I'm interested in, then no. If you're interested in things like I am, you will make a video or a lot in this case a live stream about it. And um should be interesting. Should be should be yeah. I changed the photo. Quick draw, getting money off the ad revenue is worthless, it seems, unless you develop a following and sell merch. I don't see how you make money otherwise. See, I make about eight bucks a day on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's been, it's it's kind of been around eight bucks. There was a point there where it was around 10 bucks. Um, but for the last, say, three years, maybe a little longer, it's, it's dropped off to eight bucks approximately a day. Um, of course, when the super chat, like, lovely Charlotte Rose just dropped before she just doubled my earnings basically so th that's rad but typically from AdSense it's around about eight bucks for me I mean I'm still getting still getting a fair amount of views daily because my content see that's the other thing too like if you have again you know what this is this is, oh you know what we should get Danny and Xander to call in calling Danny Black calling where is Danny Black um, this is like YouTube um, Uncut. Um, this is like Creator Cut, Creator Uncut, Creator Uncut Casting. Wait a second, what was before? What was before YouTube Uncut? It was. Was it what? Oh, far out, man. It's only been a month that they changed their name. What was their name of their channel before? It wasn't Creator Therapy, was it? Creator therapy. Anyway, um, now I've lost my choo-choo of thought. I was gonna say something about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you do if you do neshi down 
and all you do is make videos on one topic, you're going to get the views because you're going to be the topic guy. You know, you're going to always be known as tech is hard, tech is hard, tech something. Gotcha, Rob. Thanks, man. Tech is hard. Yeah. Um, damn, that's insane. Eight bucks a day. Insane. Not when you consider the amount of money I put into it. Jake Huston. How you doing, Jake? Good to see you, buddy. Eight bucks a day is lousy, man. 80 bucks a day would be just okay. Eight bucks a day is lousy, dude. That's absolutely... The tech that I've bought in the time, now it's not just for YouTube because I bought it because I would have... Like I said, I've been making videos since I was like 11. So YouTube came along and I let it go for so long until I realized I could actually put my videos on YouTube. Um... Insanely bad is what I meant. There you go. You, you just corrected it nicely nicely done. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, if you, if you netchy down on a particular subject, you will obviously get the views because you'll be known as the guy for that thing. But the moment you start trying to breach out of that thing, you're going to find it very difficult because people that are there for that thing are going to be like, why are you now doing this thing when you were so good at that thing? And when like... I'm, I really I really would love to have this conversation with Danny because I think he would possibly agree with me here. Heaven forbid, something that we agree on. But I think if you do get to that point of a topic and if the topic is something which is like GoPro, which only updates <laughs> once a year. Who did that on YouTube? Kicking Saturday, thanks for coming over, man. Hey, Kicking Saturday, thanks for the follow, dude. Yeah, if you, um, well, the subscribe on YouTube. Thank you, man. If you niche down onto something and, it, and the thing is in this case that we're discussing GoPro, then you're literally waiting for the September update every year. And then once it comes out, there's a flurry of excitement about, you know, did I get a pre-release one? Um, am I the guy that they're going to send to? That probably comes next, right? Danny probably gets on GoPro's review list and he gets the pre-releases before the public and then he has to NDA until the actual day. That's cool and that's great. And when that happens on that day in September every year, every YouTube creator that's in that position does all the things that they got to do and they make hay when the sun shines, so to speak. But then after that, it takes, uh, it's like, how do you how do you squeeze that shark? How do you milk that shark every day as much as you can? You have to go back and do the same videos you've done again. How to set up a GoPro, how to begin GoPro. How do you, what's the best GoPro for you? GoPro 11 versus GoPro 10, GoPro 10 versus GoPro 9, GoPro 9 versus GoPro 8, GoPro 8 versus GoPro 7, GoPro 7 versus GoPro 11, GoPro 11 versus GoPro 3, session versus the max all the stuff that's already been done you got to do it again you got to do it again you got to be you, and and for me that is not interesting at all the thing i like to do with the products is use them for what they're for and i get that i'm i'm foregoing the um that kind of virality but then again i would much rather go surfing with two gopros than tell you I'm going surfing with two GoPros. I'd rather actually go surfing with the two GoPros. But that's never going to, that's never, those videos, my surfing, like my today's surf, surfing videos are never going to rate, right? The only, the only way they pop is if something happens during the surf. Either I get my first barrel, which would, would happen today if I was a better surfer. It's absolutely pumping out there about 5.4 meters and barreling big barrels, big fat barrels, no one in the water. It's gnarly as crap. I'm not going out there to kill myself, but if you could, like it looks like pipeline out there. I shit you not. It looks like pipeline with dirty water. It's gnarly, it's stormy. So if I, if I, get, a, if I get a barrel or if I shark attack or something crazy happens in the water, then that's the only way those videos pop. Just going out surfing, big whoop, right? Um, damn, tech something insanely bad. Hey, Jake. Hey, Mr. B. Hey, Robert. Scoot Ninja Pro. Good day, Scoot Ninja Pro. What a cool handle. I love watching you surf. I surf. I love watching I surf. 
Yeah, I love watching I surf or you love watching me surf. Can you do POV surf? I do. I do POV. I have the, the two GoPros. One, they're both in the uh, backdoor floaty and one of them is a mouth mount and one of them's on the board. So if you go and look at, do you know what? We can do this. We can do this. It's my freaking channel. We can go to my channel, folks. Let's go to the uh, Gives a Minute machine. Gives a minute. Go to my channel. Go down to the Today's Surf. Where is it? Here it is from Thursday. This is my most recent surfing mission. Let's take a little look skis. Make it full screen skis. So there's POV in here is what I'm, what I'm illustrating. So that's obviously the board mount there. And then it cuts to the POV. So this is POV. And it always cuts to the same wave from the beach camera. So th this is three angles of the same wave each time. Next wave. This one was, I could have been in a barrel there. By the way, I snuck in this surf before the big swell came. This was the last day before it sort of got real big. me i got you into surfing is that right dude well that's pretty rad that, that makes me happy dude so this is pov some good waves in nz you're in new zealand are you what part of uh new zealand are you in dude East Coast of Auckland. Ah, oh, okay. East Coast in Auckland. Gotcha. So do you get out much then? I mean I'm very lucky this is my this is my local. It's quite literally right at the front of my house this way, this this wave. Mr. B, the only time we get good surf is when there's a hurricane. Is that right? Jealous as fuck. Shit waves here on the east coast of the US lately. Quick draw, that sucks, dude. Yeah, right now, today, it is fiery. Like, it's really good. Really good, really big, really frightening. Completely out of my league. Like, th this was a bit frightening. Even that was a bit big for me. Having the duck dive really deep. I want to get out there. I'm not going to risk my, my life. So, yeah, I do a bit of POV. Try to mix it up. See, that's a little barrel. I could have got onto that as well. Use shark protection. Yes, I do. I use the shark bands. I use two shark bands. I'll show you them in a second. See, that's a little barrel I could have probably got into. Doug, hey Gibbs, you want to call in? Yeah, man, for sure, Doug. How about that? Let's let's have a call. In. Quick draw. Oh, this last wave. That was a nice duck dive. Gosh, your surfing has progressed so much. That's how I found you and started following you in the first place. Is that right, dude? Watching my surfing content. That's cool, man. That's cool to hear. That's really cool to hear. 
Hey, hey, from my TV. Kicking Saturday. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'll give, I'll get, I'll get that link in a sec. Um, Doug, one second. This is just finishing here. That's the last wave. Always finish with the wide shot if I can. Show you the beach, how the conditions changed over the hour. Because I'm out there for about an hour. An hour and eight minutes is the length of the GoPro battery. Um, so I get out there and I like to show you what it looks like as I finish my surf. But let's take a call in uh, from, let me just get over here. I'll just load this up. Um, all right, see everyone. No worries, Scoot Ninja. Take care, man. Scoot Ninja. Um, Dugski. There we go. I'm going to give it to you in a sec, Doug. I'm just going to pull up the uh, the old call-in machine ski. And it's going to look a little bit like this for you, lovely yahoos. I'll get the linky poo for uh, Dugski. And anyone else that wants to call in too, you can use this here as a call-in line. There it is, the linky poop. And um, yeah, we'll have a chin wag. I love a good chin wag. And um, what was I gonna say about the surfing? Oh yeah, this, the um, shark bands. It's a magnet, oh no, he's already gone. Scoot's already gone. Anyway, the shark bands are a little magnetic thing that they put on your wrist and your leg. And apparently, apparently it protects you from sharks by putting out a magnetic pulse. I don't know. I don't think it works personally. Hey, and now we can see the Nameless Block over on DLive. How you doing, Nameless? Good to see you, man. Um, like I said, this is a YouTube stream, but I can see that chat on DLive. I see a delay, but it's okay to me, not you. Oh, it's a, there's a delay for you, is there? Not my audio, right? My audio is good. I think my audio is good. Hey, but it's okay to me, not you. Oh, it's a, there's a delay. No, my audio is fine. It must be at your end. You see a delay. Now, how do you see a delay? That's a strange thing to see. I can see a delay. That's trippy to think of. What are you seeing when you see a delay? You fine. I'm fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. And um, yeah, uh, so just for those watching on DLive, do we, dude, we got 10 viewers on DLive? Come on over to YouTube. This is a YouTube stream. Well, you can stay on DLive. I'm not seeing the U I'm not seeing the DLive chat though. Oh yes, I am. Of course I am. I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing it all. Stay where you are. You're all good. We fine here. And um, the idea of this is just to, you know, kick it, kick it on a Saturday. Sorry to steal your name, Kicking Saturday. What's up, Gibson Givers? Yo, Charles, how you doing, man? Between the comments. I can hear Dugski. Between the comments and you being able to see them, there's a delay. Is that right, Quick Draw? Okay. Let me bring in the machine of Dugski. He's on IRL here. Dugski! How you doing, man? How you going? I Jesus. can't hear you so block me, Troll. It's got to I don't know what it is. Camera. Oh, you can't hear us. We can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, okay. Is so it windy? Can... It's windy, yeah. Well, it was. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I want to throw the phone around. I can't. Um, I think I'll be able to use the thing. I like all video, but let me be able to. No. You don't have a sock. Sorry about you don't this. have a sock handy. You can put a sock over the mic. I can try and. It's not too bad. It's 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 bearable, dude. It's bearable. So, oh, some swell coming in there in Williamston. Look at that, folks. Don't normally get swell there, do you? It's a bit average for the weather in Melbourne. Uh, is, that, is that coming up all right? Or? Yeah, yeah, we can see that. Yeah, that's that's fine, dude. Um. So what what are what conditions have you got there? What kind of wind have you got going on? From what direction? Uh, got a southerly going. Um, it's uh, blowing at about I don't know thirty k's. Yeah. Anybody uh, so anybody I'm, surfing out there? Surfing. There's one guy. Now let me see if I can. I don't know if you can see. There no, is one. Okay, we couldn't oh, quite see it. Rocks. Get you a better view over on the looking back into the beach. 
He can use his hand to, to, to guard the microphone. Yeah, you can you can put your hand over the phone and stop the microphone getting the wind. That's one point of work because it's not just going to pop the wind straight up. It's not too bad. I mean, we, we, we have to understand what we're seeing here. Someone on a phone. Hang on, just in, give in me a minute because I've got to climb up here. Give me a minute. I'll give you a minute. Oh. Well, let me let me see if I can do a spin around of the... Uh, Okay. Super Yo, Charles, what's up, Gibbs? And give us, hey, Charles, how you doing? Oh, that's nice little pier there. Hey, Charles. Yeah, nice. Oh, but is that a bit it's, of, um, yeah, a bit of seaweed? It's usually a lot nicer than this. Uh, like I said, it's only about 20 degrees in Melbourne. Uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly up here. It's it's pretty heavy up here. The wind is really gnarly. It's from the southwest. It's offshore. It's beautiful. I went down to Husky this morning, had a look. There's a lot of lot of dudes getting some good waves out there. Uh, it's also a bay. Yeah. It's really a break wall. It's man made. Show you some of the now. Bear in mind, this is just a bay, but the wind it's quite a lengthy bay here in Melbourne. And if we can, we go away. I can see the surfer out there now. Is that the surfer? Is this the surfer, this, this... There's, a, there's a girl swimming out there? Yep, yep. So the water is still quite warm, but um, and when I say warm from Melbourne's uh perspective that's about 20 degrees right? yep not, yep not like 24 that you get up there but uh, anyway so there's a guy oh charlotte jay the jeweler followed over on d live oh thanks thanks jay the jeweler anyway, yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the effort, Doug. Hell yeah. I'll, tr I'll translate there. I think Doug was talking about the cap game tomorrow. He might not be able to hear it, but yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Later. There you go, folks. Doug Machine down there in Williamston, I guess he is. And the problem with that is obviously, you know, the wind. This can't be helped. But sometimes uh, it's funny. You think that phones, of all the things, a mobile phone would have sussed that out from the beginning because phones you need to use to talk to somebody. So I don't get why the audio when you use a phone to shoot video is so bad when they're actually used for audio to begin with. But that's what that's what the problem there was. I do appreciate Doug calling in. Anybody else want to have a chin wag? They're welcome to. We'll cut off here for the time being. But if anybody else does want to call in, you're definitely welcome. But like I said, this is a, a YouTube stream. I'm not really seeing. I'm not even looking at um, D Live, but I can look at D Live. I can go and have a look at D Live if you. I'll go and see who did the follow over there before. Uh, what was their handle again? Um, where is it? I've already closed it. My bad skis. Let me bring up a new Brave browser. Anybody want to talk crypto? Should use the Brave browser. It's a wonderful thing. It gives you free basic attention token. Let's go back to DLive machine and let's see it. Hey, 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 keep it down. Analutness. Analutness. My channel. We'll pause basic it here. Hey, hey. Ah, oh, look at. Ah, you know what that is? Look at that. Okay. You know what that is? I still, okay. I'm still having issues with this. Let me just fix my camera down here. Look at that. Okay. I've got to scale to inner bounds. Just give me a second to do this. Um, transform, reset transformation. That's going to make me up there. Drag this down here. Pop it in here. God bless OBS. Still haven't fixed this scale to inner bounds. Oh, I didn't scale it first. Hold on a second. Uh, transform scale to inner bounds. Where is it? 
Scale filtering? Where is it? I haven't done it for so long. Transform. Stretch to screen. What has it changed? Awesome. It's changed. It's changed. The selections have changed. Maybe they've got rid of it. Either way, that'll do. I'll just lock it in. <laughs> That's weird. God bless. Uh, so we were going to look at the DLive chat and where... It... Okay. DLive just did that to me. That was interesting. I was just trying we're to scroll. Look at the... Wow. Some stereophonic sound. Okay, so it's just the same chat that you guys were having there before. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And so anybody, the invitation is there for you. If you want to call in, we will. I I might get a beer. I mean, does okay, bef before I go and get a beer, is anybody wanting to call in? I guess that's the thing. Does anybody want to call in? Do we want to have a chat? Or do you want to just sit here and drink beer with me? I don't mind either of those options, to be honest, but we'll see. It's open from any. It's open to anybody, and uh, this is the rarity. You don't need to be a subscriber. You can just have the call. I see Charlie and Kicking Saturday talking in the D Live. The video is better on D Live. I mean, you got to set your quality status on YouTube so you can choose this the uh, quality you've got. That's up to you. But I am broadcasting 1080 60, and it should be the same across the board. Um, I'm gonna leave it open momentarily. I guess we are going to no beer at Kicking Saturday. You said in D Live, you said no to the beer. So I'm not going to get a beer, is what you're saying? I shouldn't get beer, or yes, I should get beer. What do you. He said no beer, ow. No beer, ow! Is beer hurting you? Is that what you're saying? I kind of wouldn't mind chilling here and kicking back with you yahoos, but I mean, it's going to be better if someone does call up. Or we just sit here in a freaking silence. Well, 14 watching and no one chatting on YouTube. Awesome. I'm going to go and get beer.
Yes, beer is always good, Mr. B. Of course, if we're going to open a beer, it's going to be a home brew. But before we do, we have to turn on the MTAG machine on DLive. Uh, DLive is asking for you to show notifications. What? Let's go over here. DLive? I'll let DLive show me notifications. Uh, let's turn the MTAG machine on first. We don't want to breach the rules on the let's machine. over here. Hey, yeah, yo, 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 keep that down. Uh, chatting family friendly becomes mature audiences only. Saved it. Now we can cuss and swear. I'll also give the YouTube link one more time in the chit chat here. Let's go to the YouTube machine. You know, one thing I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't mind finding if there's a way to let me just get this going first go back to my channel come on over and do the twist I just put that in the YouTube in the D in the Discord in the D live chat shit so the question I was going to ask is is there a thing on YouTube where you can like br reach out to people like uh sorry gives arrow this is doug uh didn't didn't work like i thought it might i was trying to get the rear facing camera so you didn't have to see my buff head oh is that what you would is that ah oh, okay so you, when you thought you were changing you thought it was changing because we just got your head the whole time <laughs> that's funny it's all good man maxi how you doing maxi says no i didn't really finish asking the question isn't there a social element to youtube where we can just go and say you know, hey, I'm on YouTube streaming. Anybody want to call in, have a chat? You know what? I'm going to tweet it. Let me go and tweet it. Let's go to the Twitter machine. Uh, let's go to Twitter. Uh, I'll just go. I'll just go. Hey, uh, YouTube creators, YouTube creators. I'm live right now and want to have a chat with other creators. Is there any way that I might even tag YouTube in this? YouTube can facilitate the facil facilitate this to happen uh, any topic let me just put my link in here just genuinely curious about that doesn't seem like that's that wouldn't seem like that's the tweet I just put out there if you wanted to read it says, hey, YouTube creators, I'm live right now and want to have a chat with other creators. Is there any way that YouTube can facilitate this to happen? It doesn't seem like that would be a thing that, you know, like, why, why isn't there like a social element to YouTube where one creator says, hey, man, yeah, there's a guy over there in Australia who's streaming and he's going to have a beer and he's open for a chit chat, you know, like, what? why doesn't that happen? Doesn't seem to happen. And I see Jason, I see, uh, Jason, I see John, I see Jake Huston has tweeted me out a lot. Thank you, Jake. Dude, you got so many different names on your profiles, man. I find it difficult to follow along with you, man. Jesus, I just cheers and didn't drink. Whoopsie. Like, does anybody know if you can go to YouTube? Can you, can you do that? Can you just go to YouTube and go like, Go YouTube and just like scroll for live streams. More from YouTube, YouTube Premium, movies and shows, games, live. Let's go to the live. This is a channel called live. That's a channel called live. 15 million subscribers is. Interesting. So you can't just, there's no search and discoverability. Like there's no way to just go. Richard Hart streamed. I wouldn't mind watching that. Um, Point of Bay surfing during sunset at Turtle Bay. Parker Seidel. 
I guess what I'm looking for is like, I want to find fellow creators. Can I explain what happened? Do you want to call back in and explain that, Doug? You're welcome to, man. Do you want to call back in? Is that what you're saying? You're welcome to. No sweat, dude. I'm all about it. You know what we could do? We could take a look at um, Audius. Free, uh, copyright free music platform. I wouldn't mind having a look at Audius. You want to do that? Let's cruise through the Audius machine. Just wait and see to confirm what Doug says. Can I explain what happened? Can I? Did you did you want to call in and do that? Is that what you're saying? Or did you just say you want to explain it in the chit chat? Otherwise, we'll take a look at uh, Audius. I want to show you this too. This is a channel that's recently commenting on my content. His channel is called Journey to Surf Barrel. This guy here. I wouldn't mind... Uh, like you, you guys should go and give this guy a, a little sneaky subscribe. He's only got 13 subs. I don't think he speaks uh, English. He doesn't speak at all in his videos. Um, but he's trying to get he's trying to get a barrel too. That's what he's doing. He's trying to get a barrel. I'll, I'll give his link in the chit chat here. I think he's up on the Sunshine Coast somewhere, but he's trying to learn trying to learn to get a barrel. So if you want to go and help him out, let's check, let's take a look at one of his videos that I haven't seen. So let's take a look at this one. It's muted. Oh shit, that's loud. got a good quick pop-up it's big as well quality's a little bit naff yeah, he's got a good pop-up hasn't he he won't he, hey he wants to get that barrel Those last, those last two paddles he does are funny. He's keen. So he's been commenting on my videos lately. I think he needs to turn his front foot a bit more. His front foot's too square on. Straight on, sorry. I think he could also do with a, a shorter board. He seems like he's skilled enough to ride a smaller board now. Yeah. Pretty cool though. I like watching his content. He's pretty cool. Let's take a look at Audius. Let's take a look at Audius. So if we go over here, go audius.com slash audius.co. That's um, this is my page on the Audius website, which is not lo it's not loading. Uh-oh, the time that I want to show it to you. Okay, that was very strange. And we basically can take a listen to music here. <laughs> Random music. Excuse me. Yahoo! Yahoo! Wow. Excuse me. I think I'm getting something. I think I'm coming down with something. Better get that checked out. Uh, Audius, let's go to my feed here. Can you Yahoo see that? Make it larger. So these are all different uh, styles of music, but you can also go to explore, trending playlists, underground trending, heavy rotation, let them DJ, 
best new releases under the radar top albums remixes most loved feeling lucky so i want to go and take a look at the uh trending tab uh what the fuck was that that was a sneeze mr b i sneezed are there still lockdowns there ah yes uh no there are not let's go to the alternative genre let's take a look at Jetski Landsgard. Okay on Twitter? What do you mean, okay on Twitter? Have I got notifications? What are my notifications? Oh, you liked it and followed. Thank you, Kicking Saturday. I'll give you a sneaky follow back. Right on. Look at your setup there, dude. Shit, yeah, man. But uh, nothing, nothing back from uh, YouTube. I didn't think so. No discoverability on YouTube, is there? Let's just go stream. Uh, let's take a listen to this. It's gone from to it's pretty loud. Sounds good. Uh, Doug, I can't get it to connect. I'll try later at home. Oh, I wasn't on. I, I didn't know if you wanted to call in. I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't know if you said you wanted to call in to explain or if you're going to just put in the chat. Um, but I'm not on there. If you want me to go back on, tell me to go back on, and I'll I'll go back on because I'm not even there now. But um, what we've got here is a website where it plays uh, un... This is not copyrighted material, so you can play it on your streams. But um, I've got all my albums up here. If you want to go and take a look at all my stuff, if you go uh, albums, got all my releases up there for you to download. Actually, you can't download off this site, which does suck. It's later, man. All good. No worries, Doug. No worries, man. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't download off this site, which does make it a little bit cumbersome, but you can at least stream. I'll put that in the chat there. That's my profile on Audius. Uh, and also right now, or you can earn audio token uh, by streaming music there, which is pretty rad. So Audius token, it's I got about three of them in my, in my uh, wallet, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and have a look though, and take a listen, see what you think, see what you like. And uh, yeah, that's the that's Audius. Uh, it's like a mp3.com, but it's blockchain based, even though you don't really need the blockchain for it. It's kind of like DLive, decentralized live stream on the blockchain. Nah, nah, there's no blockchain involved in DLive, except for BTT, and you don't need BTT to stream. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess what it is, we're not really sure. That's the problem. Um, so if you are on DLive, Kicking Saturday says, call me. You want me to call you? That ain't how this works, dude. That ain't how this works. If you want to call, I'll give you the link. Do you want, do you want to call in Kicking Saturday? Is that what you're saying? You're saying you want to call in? We don't do it on Discord. We do it. I send you the link, and then you can. You'll be. It's through Restream. I'll send it. I'll send you the link, and you work it out. But I see you on DLive. You said call me. If you want me to give you the link, let me know, and I will. We'll have a chit chat. Radio silence. I'm let. I let it out there. Oh, there's also the latency issue, of course. The delay. The underlay. 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 Yeehaw! I'll let you let you decide what you want to do there. Kicking Saturday. If you wanted me to call you, I will. If not, yes, I want to call. Okay, cool, cool. What I'll do, I'll do it right here, man. Uh, let me just bring it up here. 
go to the Chrome. I'm gonna punch this in here and I'll give you the link over in, so the link, I know you're on I know you're on the on the YouTube as well. So come back over to the YouTube and I'll give you the link on YouTube. So the link is in now. The link is in the YouTube chat. So you hit that that link in the YouTube chat, Kicking Saturday. I can't bump out into uh, the scene yet, but if you hit that link that's in the YouTube chat, that'll bring you in. Bam, we'll have a chit chat. I'll see you when you get there in the green room as well, and then I'll bring you in. Kicking Saturday. Cool, man. This will be fun. Um, kicking Saturday. Come on over and do the twist. I'll see you when they get when you get there though, kicking Saturday. So in the meantime, um, I do see 11 watching and 12 likes. That's a good ratio. That's cool. Sand shoes. Hell yeah. What do I see on the Twitch, on the Twitter machine? Okay, on YouTube. Cool, cool. Click that link there, Kicking Saturday. Click that link and you're good to go. I can't connect to the Float app for some reason. That's interesting. Yeah, so you're on YouTube, so click that link above, the one that's got studio.restream, and I'll I'll see you when you pop into the uh, to the green room, and I'll know that you're good. Where? Okay, I'll put it again, dude. <laughs> hit that link. Hit hit that link, and you're good to go. Kicking Saturday. <laughs> Quick draw McGraw. Between the comments and you being able to see them, there's a delay. Yeah, true, true. Of course, I, I, I often forget that. Where are you? That's weird. That came in. Ah, oh, okay. That's my bad. That's an old comment I'm reading. Yeah, that's weird. Very strange. I get it. I get it. There's a delay. I see 14 upvotes and 11 watching. That's an excellent ratio. Thank you, El Giverinos. Very cool. Very cool. And I hear Kicking Saturday joining us. Let me bring Kicking Saturday into the mix here. Let me go across here, folks. Bring it in. Kicking Saturday, I'm adding you to the stream ski. How you doing, man? I hear you there, dude. Kicking Saturday. Hey, he's got a light on now too. Hey, hey. how you doing, man? What's you? Up? Hey, I'm wearing headphones. How you doing, man? Awesome. Can you hear me? Yeah, dude, we can hear you can fine. Hear, me, all right. hear you fine. Can you hear me? You can hear me? You can hear me? We we hear we hear you. You hear me, right? Am I right? Awesome, dude. I'm a, I'm actually a, yeah. I got you on Twitter. I got you on YouTube. Yes. Okay. So here's the thing. You should listen to me in the re yeah, but I hear you here. But no, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work there. There's a delay. Yeah. Cut, cut that off and just hear me in the restream link that I sent you. That's going to be much, much, much better because there's going to be a huge latency issue otherwise. So yeah, pull that out. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And just just listen to me. Yeah, I wish it would. Yeah. Actually, okay. Volume. It's much better. But can you plug can you plug headphones into the thing volume, that you've clicked volume, the link volume. on? Volume. Otherwise, we're gonna hear a feedback yeah, loop. Volume's up. But, oh, it's on my television. That's why. So here's the problem, folks. The device that Kicking Saturday clicked the link on, that device needs the audio source. The, he needs to have audio coming from the device. So the thing that's pointing. At the back wall there. Yeah, I have, um, yeah you need I have to use a, uh, that audio. Yeah, my audio is in the other room, but I can hear it. It's on my TV. But that's still that's not gonna work. So 
whatever you clicked the link in, wherever you clicked that link I sent you, that's the audio source you need. So whatever you're looking at yeah, there. Yeah, I clicked it here on, on yeah. the, the map. Yeah, so plug plug in the plug in headphones into the Mac then. Oh. Yeah, totally. Because then you're gonna be in real time. Okay. Gotcha. Because that's the idea. Like once he once he's done that, he'll actually be in the same audio loop as me. So he's hearing me at the exact time that I'm saying things, and we'll get it. We'll get it sussed out. Yeah, schismatism. Now here's the question, Mac. There's no headphone. So, uh -oh. no headphone jack. What I need a of... USB headphone. Is that uh? It's not gonna work. Uh oh. USB headphone. That's not going to work. He'll get there, folks. He'll get there. He'll get there. Oh boy. Uh, I don't have a USB headphone. Well, anyway. Um, if he doesn't have any headphone device, um, no USB headphone. Can yeah, you, can you instead maybe click the link on a phone? You can probably use your phone to click the link instead. Yeah. Use that maybe. phone. Use that phone as the, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Click that link on the phone. That'll be better. You'll yeah, I'm sure it will be. Uh, okay, let's chat for real. Sorry, <laughs> at least you got something to talk about. <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is true. It's all this good. This is very true. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. All so right. You'll um, have to. I'll I'll kill you on this one. How do you see the this the the link on the YouTube? I don't get a link. Oh. In the YouTube chat, it should just be a clickable link. No, see, I don't get a link. No link. Uh, that's probably. I see it on the Mac, but not on the iPhone. That's weird. If I put it in again, I put it in again. Did that make any difference? Uh, probably because I don't have. Oh, probably because I don't have Google installed. That's why. Maybe. Um... Either way, um, maybe okay. just maybe just try turning the volume up a little bit on your Mac. See if we're gonna we, we might get a little bit of issue there, but we'll just try yeah, that. Yeah, uh, what I'll do is unplug my TV, and then I'll be able to hear you. That's why. Okay, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. I think. I think we're getting there. Will persist. Okay, turn off my key, boy. All right. Yeah. Okay, so turn that up a little bit, and we'll just see. If we might get a feedback loop, but it should be okay. You can hear me then now. Why not? We just don't want to. We just don't want to. Um... We just don't want to go. Yeah, I got you now. Okay, so you can hear me in real time then. Yeah, yeah I can hear you in real time. It's and... because of my television. Yeah, and we're we're gonna hear a little bit of that picked up from your microphone, but it might not be that bad. So, I guess oh, one thing you, one thing you could probably try to do is uh, if you can plug a mic into that Mac, you could put the mic back with you and keep it away from the speakers. That could be an option. I actually, I have to rig up my whole studio just for that. Okay, don't 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 worry about that. I think it's gonna work. Fine. Yeah, I don't have a. I wish I had a USB mic. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm an analog guy. Take uh, to pull up a pull up a chair, grab a beer or whatever you got. You got a light there, Kicking Saturday. You got any light in that room? It looks. It looks like you got a green light up there. Is that a little? Yeah, I got green lights. Uh, I wish I had my iPhone. You could see everything. <clears throat> There's the. Uh... Cool, cool. Uh, green light. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll I'll make you full screen for a second so we can see this in in all of its entirety. There you go, oh, folks. Well, the room is not yet. I'm doing a bigger room. Okay. I'm going to have uh, five uh, five cameras in the bigger studio. It's a 50 by 70 studio. Cameras as well. So the cameras are for monitoring the sessions? 
Yeah, I'm going to have actually filming as well because sometimes bands, they want to record themselves. Yeah, totally. So in the next, the bigger studio, I'll have a 32 by 26 and then a 32 by 46 rooms. Basically. Cool. Huge. Huge. But then it's going to be 20 feet high ceiling. So I can get uh, five cameras in the live room, more or less. So where where you are now, that's the control room. What have you got through the, is that a yeah, glass this panel? Is not the control room. This is uh, in my mansion. <laughs> this is in where, sorry? It, it, it's, a, it's a secondary, gives a minute, fan club <laughs> room. <laughs> storage <laughs> for beer <laughs> i'll cheers that i'll That's cheers what that is. now what, con what, what console is that there dude that is the michael jackson 2006 remix console that came from neverland is that right yes it is the dude i thing. got a i got a clue i gotta patch you in with my mate lucky the sound engineer with tracer he'd be if, if we could pull Lucky into this stream and he'd have a chat with you, he'd be like... You I got... would love to move this. I told Gil this, and I'm going to tell you this. This is a golden opportunity. Basically, I need a building because I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm not going to beg you <laughs> at all in any okay. way. Okay. This, this studio belongs. It's basically a part of history. I mean, I can just go set up a, a filming studio in the bigger, you see what I'm getting at? I could, I'd rather have a filming live studio rather than a whole recording studio. You see right. what I'm getting at? Gotcha. Yep. Because the money's in filming right now. It's in movies, it's in cinema, it's in mastering, you know, the big uh, speakers and the, you know, the bigger consoles. Right. This is mainly for bands, musicians, podcasters, and what have you. But it's more caters for music orientation. Not gotcha. For film. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you want to branch out um, and, and, and go into a different angle? Well, this is the Michael Jackson console. And then below it, I have a tube console, which uh, I could lift it up, but I don't want to move it. <laughs> it's a $50,000 tube console. Uh, it is the Elvis, original Elvis Presley tube console that came from Graceland. Shit. From 1959 all the way up to 1977. It's also a Fairchild. So it's the Holy Grail. Uh, if you go to the Kicking Saturday YouTube, it's actually there. You'll okay. see the whole desk. So how did um, how did you come across both of those consoles, the Michael Jackson one and, and the Elvis one? My mother my mother used to work with Bill Porter. That's Elvis Presley's sound engineer. Wow. Yeah, she worked with uh, Bill Porter in 1958 all the way up to 1963. In what capacity? What was her What was her job? Uh, her job was parts inventory on this tube console down here. My, um, it actually, uh, when Elvis Presley passed away, um, he actually, it was like four months prior before his death, uh, he actually sent this console um, to the Spear recording consoles which he died. <laughs> so it laid in a junk pile for about 10 years. But um, my mother gave me a crate. She wrote a letter and I didn't want to see it. And then I finally opened the letter and realized I had a crate waiting for me. But wait, I wait, wait, paid... wait. You, the, your mother passed away. Is that what you're saying? And she'd left yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, my a... mother had, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, uh, sorry to Stage hear that. Four. Sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah. yeah. And I was the last person to know. Oh shit. Yeah. But my dry. mother knew that I was a singer. Um, not necessarily a recording studio. I, I, I will tell you, I'm a lead singer in 1979. I drink beer, I drink whiskey, I drink vodka. <laughs> Just give me the stage and I'll sing a song. <laughs> okay, cool, okay. cool. That's what I'm about. Okay. I'm not an engineer, although I have a big history with the family. We're all up in there. Seems Me, like it's it's I'm part of your family, guy. though. I'm yeah. Like, I'm just like you, regular guy saying whatever. She sees these piece of piece of No, I don't care. <laughs> you know, if I make a billion dollars here, a million dollars here, or twenty cents, I'll just take. The, give me a minute. 
Okay. But but you <laughs> thank you. But you have um you have recorded a bunch of people though. You you've engineered for a whole bunch yes, of crews. Yes, uh, so. I took back to core in 1993. Um, I think it was 93. I'm Michael Bolton. Can I touch you there? Does he really uh, have an Michael album Bolton called that? The keyboard parts. Yeah. In Belize. Yeah. Look it up. Michael Bolton. Can I touch you there? Belize. <laughs> okay. I'm the only recording professional recording studio in Belize. Period. <laughs> Wait, did you just dox where you are? I mean, it's your studio, it's your business. You, you're, you're, you're welcome to tell us where you are. I didn't, I didn't know you were in Belize. Yes, I'm in Belize in Central America. Okay. But I'm a private studio. So even if you come to my door, a guy came from Canada all the way to me because he found out through the grapevine. I mean, if you do your research, you'll find out, you know, I'm here. Right. So he came all the way from Canada, started singing and rapping to me didn't even book a session. And I had Dobby Dobson in one room and Cindy Lewis and Baron Lee in the other. Those are pretty big guys, by the way, <laughs> in Belize. Uh, the Caribbean, they're very famous individuals. And I'm sort of like, dude, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, how am I? I'm like, I had, I had to tell the guy to kindly leave, but I traveled all this way. I says, well, sometimes you need to make an appointment. Yeah, yeah, make a booking. Hey, Mal Pezzi over on D-Live. How you doing, man? He doing, freaked Mal out and he started throwing things at me. Oh, shit. And I was like, and it was embarrassing. And uh, So he, so thought, he, he thought he could just rock up there and get a, get, a, get a session with you without any prior arrangement at all. Yeah, like a rock star. No, he, he wanted to be in the next Eminem. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. But I'm not going to put him down. I admire his ambition. If I even had an email, it would have been awesome or a phone call. Yeah. Hey, I'm coming in. Not regardless. Maybe some kind of notice so you could like get the studio ready for him and, and get the right mics and all that sort of stuff prepared for him. Do some research, find out about what There's he's done before. There's a lot blah, 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 blah. an appointment with me. Number one, you got to have everything down. And he did. The singer did have everything down. Except the but booking. But he gave me no notes. You need Core Goffrey, right? Right. And you got to have your notes. You got to have your composer. You got to have your lawyer with you because I want to make sure anything I'm recording is copywriting right. or legit. Right. right. Yeah. And that's a, you know, the little minor thing. Mail it to yourself. Have a identical copy of your masters. Uh, has to be pre approved by other engineers. I don't want to step on bands or musicians' toes. Yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> And I'm not going to take your content and say, okay, here's without consulting your manager. <laughs> right. You know? Right, 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 right. Look. And then, um, uh, then I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, inexpensive from the rest of the world because in California it costs $35,000 a track. That's one track. One vocal, 35,000. Right. Board, that's 60,000. Jesus. I mean, but we're talking big, major, you know, mixes. Right. Uh, like orchestra, maybe that can go up to a hundred, hundred grand easily right. for a session. Uh, that's where I, my heart is in the orchestra and blues and jazz. That's what I love. Okay. But, um, that's not going to happen in Belize. So but if I did, I'm better off in the filming industry to be honest yeah. in Belize. One question I've wanted to ask for a while: your your handle or your studio, Kicking Saturday. Is there a a, 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 a genesis behind the name of that? Where did that come yes, from? Yes, there is. Um, you have to kick Saturday to get the Sunday. Yep. Okay. Why? You want to know why? Because. I'm number one. So it's kicking Saturday number one. Why? Because I'm the only I'm the only guy that will kick Saturday. That means you have to kick this. Oh, Jesus. What do you got there? You have to kick this to get the church on time. <laughs> so you I, I see what you're hey. saying. Right. So you can't you can't you can't smash it on Saturday if you think you're gonna do something on Sunday. So you gotta kick it. You can't do this. But kick, kicking kicking something in in American kick kicking around is like hanging out kicking it we will kick it together right that's the saying yeah but I, I lived in Belize half of my life well yeah you could say half of my life twenty six years so like three 
in Belize's tree. Okay. Okay. And true dot means, you know, all right. Okay. I understand. True dot. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> or the river run deep. That means you got a problem. They won't come out and say you got a problem. What the river runs doing? deep. No. That means you got a problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, man. Tr trying to think but what it's we. It's not Jamaican. Everybody thinks it's Jamaican, but no, it's just broken English. True that. What What about um, so, you got a problem in Australia? The, I'm just trying to think what the what the equivalent would be in Australian. Be like, what's up, cunt? That'd be you got a problem. What's up, cunt? No, that's uh, not even true. That'd be more of a hello. <laughs> Australia. Hello. <laughs> yeah. What's up, cunt? That'd be like hello in Australian. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, uh, my first, actual first friend was Australian. And, in uh, in the music industry, or just just outside of the music industry? No, he was in construction. I was very young. I was like 18, 19. Okay. You know, getting my life together, and uh, we became biggest friends and then uh, the contract died and he moved on and I, we never kept in touch unfortunately Bugger. the greatest guy i could say out of everybody i've met in my life that was that guy was super what was his name it's been so long i forget oh uh, fair enough fair that's enough. the sad part that's the sad that's part. fair enough that's fair enough my bet you know the guy I could give you a name, but I'd be lying. I forget his name. It's been we, so long. We we call him old mate. If it's someone that's good, a good natured mate. dude in Australia, that's old mate. Yeah, no, he's a great mate. Uh, yeah. In fact, that's what he said a lot, mate. <laughs> okay, mate. mate. <laughs> yeah. Malpezzi anyway, on the D Live in, in D Live says but... he says if you know someone, then you're good. You do. Yeah, that's true. That's a hookup, right? Tumbleweed yeah. says, "Oi, yeah. number, oi, number." I'm not sure what that means. Oi number. So yeah, kicking so, Saturday, let me ask you this, man. What what brought yeah. you to D Live originally? How did you stumble upon this the website D Live? Well, there's a lot of reasons I went to D Live. Not just I'm not the guy who would just go and get on D Live at all. Okay. I'm not a social media person. I'm actually a very I'm a private recording studio. That means private. Right. And I've already broken those rules. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 did you stream on DLive then, did you? Or weren't you just in the... Yeah, I did. I did for a while. Uh, oh, okay. when oh, well, well hang, on, hang on a second. Have you been banned on DLive? You're not banned, are you? I was banned uh, for the first... Oh, shit. I think I, w I was playing some music and they banned me. Okay, okay. And, and I said, I have copyrights uh, to this music because I actually had the engineer and he was, we were live. So he was mixing Def Leppard and he uh, wanted me to do the vocals because I'm an expert at vocals, by the way. I'm not bragging. I like but a good you didn't brag. Hear that you did not hear that from me. I hear you're good with vocals. Beneath the land and ice and wind. <laughs> beneath the land and ice and wind. The wolves do, you know, it's a matter of pitch. But anyway, okay. Uh, so when there's uh studio sessions and somebody wants to do a cover so they would actually come to me and i would say yes or no <clears throat> don't do it okay okay don't copy the original and that's that's where i come in okay so i i speak to the artist i have to make sure that all the mixing is properly done if the artist sings in a key of d then I can't have the song sound off. It has to be on timing. But then, uh, like, I might take a gu guitar part and have it have the artist singer. So I'll have the the whole full session in my face, and then I'll have the singer in the next room. Gotcha. So gotcha. I was actually recording, and I didn't tell anybody. I was actually physically recording a cover song for Def Leppard for Warner Brothers. Oh, okay. Just, just to clarify, but it has you're, to be you're, accepted. you're, you're, you're still, you're no longer banned on D Live, right? Be because if you are, well, I they, they said they because of the Def Leppard, quote unquote, they said I was in violation of playing copyrighted music, and I told them, I said, here's my PA form, here's my copyright form. Right. I'm the assistant engineer on this project. 
but I can't tell you who's on the bloody music hmm. because I would violate the contract. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I can say the word Def Leppard, but I can't say who's singing the cover for Def Leppard. See what I'm getting at? I see, I see. But just to clarify, you're not, you're no longer banned on. It's all been resolved because that otherwise I can't. It give, was resolved. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I told them if they didn't, I would go on YouTube and actually play back all the information. Yeah, gotcha. gotcha. And because cool. I have, a, I have, I have a, I have a whole big server room. I have a 30 terabyte server. Yeah. I record everything. <laughs> right. So every, I have to. It's like a dat, you know, 24 seven. Nice. <laughs> Secu it's like security for you too. Like that's the security. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, so what happened is I kept getting banned and I'm like, okay, fine. And they did it to me again afterwards. Oh, so shit. then I emailed the CEO or the upper, whoever was in the branch and I showed him my evidence. Leave him alone. He's okay. And I, I didn't, I didn't go back on, I actually stopped my streaming. Yeah. Even though they wanted me back. And people are missing my streaming. Well, that's what I said. But when I when, when we saw you, when you came back in my stream uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I was like, dude, we haven't seen you. It seems like it was about a year ago that I last saw your handle in my chat. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been a very long time. Uh, the reason is uh, I had to set up some encryptions. I've been, uh, every time I install Google, um, see, remember, studios are will always be a target of hackers. Okay. Yep. Now, if you tell me, if you tell me I'm supposed to hate Russia, or you tell me I'm supposed to like Ukraine, I'm going to tell you I'm neutral. I like Russia. I like Ukraine. I like North Korea. I like South Korea. You're on Earth. I like Australia. I like Germany. I don't pick sides. Okay. Good. Good. Do not put me in a corner. I will tell you like it is. <laughs> you um, so, okay. I'm an automatic. Let, let me ask you this. Let, let's go back to, to recording. So yesterday we did the Fugazi cap game and we were looking at the, the In On The Kill Taker album was originally sessioned with Steve Albini. The band, yeah, Albini. yeah, the band then decided that they didn't like what he did, which is sort of strange because... I don't think the guy's done a thing wrong, but anyway, they they said well, we don't like this, and they went on and then redid the album, and they engineered it and produced it themselves. The question I've got to you as an engineer: those original or those Steve Albini? I know Steve very well, by the way. Oh, do you? Oh, wow. Well, those those original Steve Albini recordings, mm -hmm. they got somehow leaked out, and people now distribute that version of the album. How would you say that that happened? Like, what what would lead up okay, to number those? Number one, it did not come from Steve Albini because he uses number one. He uses a hundred percent analog. There's yeah. no way. Okay. Okay. Unless someone got into his cupboard and literally stole the information, which would not be on digital. It would be on a reel to reel. Yeah. Uh, actually, it would actually the masters of his reel would actually be here. It's a dat tape, yeah. That's a dat tape. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that, that's tape. that's a high eight camcorder tape though. <laughs> I got one right yeah, here. Yeah, I I know. Yeah, but this is a Tascam D eighty eight. This is yeah okay. But this is for audio. Oh, that's just oh okay. So they audio. so they used a very similar similar um. Uh, yeah, but this format. is eight tracks. This is an eight track. Okay. It's the closest thing to a reel to reel, and when so, you're in Belize. You can't fix a reel to reel. So what about? Oh, really? Yeah. So once once they once they crap out, they're done. <laughs> so so Albini does everything analog. So the mixes that he would have had of that album would have been tied to a console that has automation. It and would when be he... tied to his um, Nikon, uh, the Nikon N N E O K E console. I forget the name of it. It's a let's just call it the N console. Okay. But it's a customized console. And it would actually be tied directly to a reel-to-reel. -reel. He's got a Studer A27 and also an ATR2 track. Uh, so he would listen uh, separately through his monitors, but all the information is on reel-to-reel. -reel, mm. Period. So for that There's to no leak way, out, to, to, for that for that to get bounced down to a single, someone had to yeah. go 
had to be his assistant. That's the only that's the only person that has room to his keys. Right. And I can't even disclose that information because I'm just going to tell you if it was in my studio because we're live. Let's pretend it's in my studio. Okay. 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 Let's leave let's leave the celebrities out of this. Now, if like I showed you my that tape, the only way that it can get out is if someone my assistant was in here, okay? And he does have it. Uh, and I do have assistants. <laughs> I don't want to twist anything up here. Okay. <laughs> I don't, think you're getting my point. Don't name them. Keep keep them no. out of it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no names. No names. Uh, so uh, assistant or someone, this has to be longer than a coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. To to mix down a whole they album. They have to have an yeah. experience. They have yeah. to have experience with real to real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a computer in my facility, but it's right. in the next room. It's not associated whatsoever. Yeah. There. I mean, so, I have one in here. So I can tell you that. Hang on one second. Or unless someone carried a laptop with a converter, it is possible. Are we missing something though? Are we missing something? Because back in, I, I guess it was nineteen ninety. Four ninety five, I think that album came out in on the Kill Taker. Yeah, I guess now, at that at that point, if, wouldn't if wouldn't it's a bootleg? But hang on, but hang on, wouldn't someone, wouldn't Albini have sent like some format of it to the band, or would they? No, Albini will not change the format unless he's been fully paid and the producers or or executives that is uh, that is has to meet that requirement. Otherwise, he will not release it. It will sit in his vault till hell comes up, hell freezes over. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Wow, man, what a I'm story. I'm telling you that direct from yeah, the okay. horse's mouth, and I'm telling you that that's how I do it. <laughs> Lock and key. Right. Right. So, so the oh. band, the band would have heard the final mixes in his studio at the console yes. on reel to reel. They For... would have heard the pre-master. That's right. Yeah. Not yeah. The master. Mixes. Yeah. Of course. Of course. And they would have Nothing's thought recorded. they would have said amongst themselves, "Well, we don't like what we hear. Let's just pay." Because I know Albini doesn't assumption. take points. I know he doesn't do the no. points thing. He just gets paid for his task, and once he's done, he's done. So he would have said, "Well, okay. I'm done here," and they would have said, "Okay, shelve it. Because we'll go and do it again." Rubbish. Yeah, because if he's recording it, he's not unless he was paid to mix it, which he doesn't rarely do. Generally, it's other people that do the mixing and mastering. By the yeah, way. yeah, totally. Albini yeah. is a master at recording. Yeah, yeah. Now he can mix. It. Now, if he did a recording session and a mixing session, it is possible. But I'm going to tell you right off the bat, mixing session, you want a Neve and an SSL. That's what you want. <laughs> right, right. Okay, on a mixing session, then you would say it's horrible in the mix because okay. the yeah. mix and the master are very similar. So I wonder what it was with Fugazi then. What, what, when they heard what he did, I wonder why they, like, they went ahead and redid the whole thing themselves. And I'm just thinking. Yes, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. 80% um, of Gazi's material, or, or ex Nirvana, how you want to call it? <laughs> I call him the little Nirvana. <laughs> who, 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 but anyway. Who who you, who you referring to at that point? Dave Gazi. No, Gazi. I'm 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 talking about a punk band called Fugazi, a band. Oh, not Fugazi. not a, not not oh, a solo guy. Right. Yeah, wrong, yeah. Wrong uh, wrong session. You're thinking of someone else. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, by the way, Sharla Rose okay. says, "Hey, kicking." She wants to say that hello to you. So there's Sharla in the chat. Okay. Good to see you, Sharla. Uh, sorry, wrong. Different wrong person. Man. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, yeah, the um. Uh, but anyway, we could still stay, stay on it's, the same It's the session. same, it's the same concept. They, they would have heard it's the it. Same concept. Yeah. It doesn't matter what band. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're male, female. Yeah. Donkey yeah. Kong. Yeah. Super Mario. Or I just find that intriguing. I find that, I find the story in compelling because we all know, like, even in that era, we all know what Albini was good for and he was the master at it. And for him, for, for that band to say, I'm going to tell you flat out what they won't like at, at uh, Steve Albany's studio. Number one is the drum. He's got a very confined drum room. Okay. Most big bands 
want the big Atlantic Records, big, huge reverbs. You see what I'm saying? The bigger the room, the better the drums. So, right, okay. Huge. We're talking huge. Yeah. Steve Albani has a... <laughs> okay. Just do this. Small drum room. And you won't like it. You won't like it. But the way his technique in recording, uh, it's awesome. Mm. So I'm sure the band maybe heard a pre-mix, but not the final stages. Yes. And then they changed their mind in that process without them going to another studio and making a big just for the drums. See what I'm getting at? Right, right, and right. And then right. you bring it in and then he plays it through. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. See what I'm getting at? That's probably what he was trying to relate to them. And they said, screw you, man. And then Steve Alvey said, well, excuse me, fuck off. Because he huh? will tell you to fuck off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's, Point. It's, it, it's his job. I mean, uh, excuse my foul language, but that's exactly what he would say. Right, right. Fuck off. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's. I think the. I think the story is in, is interesting because, the, then they get released at some point. Somehow they make their way out into the and like fans start distributing it and and then it's like this is this the Albini version of that album. It's like the whole album got no, re-recorded. They can't, they can't use his name. Steve Albini could sue them. I mean, did, yeah, I, I guess that's a completely separate story. But does does is he even interested but in he's that? Not like that. I, I don't think. Yeah, it's it's more like it's more like just for fandom, like for the fans to be like, oh, okay, that's what happened. Because when I when I read that yesterday on the Wikipedia, I didn't know that story, and I was like, oh, so what we have is an album which was highly regarded in the time, still is, and it was an album that Albini actually recorded. And that wasn't good enough. So the 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 song. I, I also wonder how different the songs are because, like, I feel like Fugazi. Well, I can they, tell you just by listening to it, the drums were very thin. I could hear the drums though. Hmm. It was it was done good. Hmm. I, I won't say bad. It was tasteful, uh, but maybe they wanted to spend more time and not let the engineer know that. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Maybe yeah. they maybe they weren't prepared enough. Do you Maybe know what's rad though? What, what, what's really rad about that is, and what you said we earlier. There. I don't know. Yeah, but but yeah, we weren't there. But you just said before you got cameras and stuff now in studios, so all that stuff, if it had it been done today, would all be documented, and you could go back and you could oh, watch yes. the tapes oh, and yes. hear the now conversations. We record. It's like lights on, theaters on. It's HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, twenty four seven. You That's sneeze, cool. we're gonna know about it. That's it's cool. Gonna be documented. And that's that's historically, this, yeah. That's recording like it. The Beatles. Hey, oh, oh, oh. How, you know, how did he do that? Where was it? Is it where was it recorded? Mono. Yeah. Now, now we. Oh, I see him. He's yeah. stepping his foot. I just like that sound. Where was he? What was he in the room? You know. Yeah, and now we have so all the documents. To, yeah, that's pretty cool. They did that in the fifties, and the sixties, and the seventies. They did all of that live with cameras, black oh. and white. And a little bit of color later on down the road, but then the color back in the seventies was a little bit saturation. You know that saturation area, right? Oh, harsh, right? Meaning <laughs> Led Zeppelin, ah, right, right, right. right. There you go. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, okay, <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, so everything was loud and crazy, and then the disco fever was just kicking in, and then the soul was later on, but all of a sudden. Right close to the '80s, all the cameras stopped. Everything was focused on audio, and we forgot totally forgot we could care less about video. Mm. And then the '90s creep in. And remember, video wasn't that great. Actually, black and white was ten times better than color. Right. <laughs> to be honest, it, it was because we deal with sound, not necessarily visualization. And anytime we have interference. We can actually tell on the color. The color does add saturation to your sound. Totally. That's why you, you gotta have the guy. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Say that again. The color, color, colorization adds saturation invented, to the uh, sound. Yes, it does. Huh? If you listen to a black and white TV, my fair Martin. Don't my remember. favorite Martin. My okay. favorite Martin. A, a show from the seventies uh, or something. 60s. Go listen to his vocals. Actually, find the worst movie in black and white. Just find the worst garbled 
play back it on YouTube. Just find the worst sound you can possibly get. Yeah. You'll smile. You will smile on his vocals. Yeah. You'll sit there and listen. Actually, it will literally bring you, it's not perfect, not like today, but you start listening to it, you start to smile. That's it's called tubes. Oh, right, <laughs> Everybody right, 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 right. Tubes. Yeah, the tube, the tube. Is tubes, real the tube to real. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, everything. Console, that's why, that's why I have that down there. Yeah. The Elvis Presley. Totally. That's the holy grail, by the way. And this this console was actually tested uh, between solid state and tubes, by the way, at Bell Labs. Ah. It's got a big history. It goes all the way back since 1934. Sherman Fairchild. This very phone conversation, my console came from it. Sherman Fairchild, 1934. Okay. Okay. Decca Records, Capitol Records, uh, Columbia Records. Oh, God, the list is endless. Uh, so this is this console has been used as a guinea pig you know it's just like oh yeah sure uh like eminem the first very first eminem you're gonna have it <laughs> and you're gonna have a pre-test dummy well, what do you and what you have you got have, there is that a mic what, 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 i didn't see what you held up there what what are you holding up then no i'm just giving you an example oh you were just illustrating okay gotcha gotcha yeah, yeah, yeah. so what you were saying uh, the the color the color television productions had more of a th- thickness or a warmth to their sound is that what you they uh when they brought out color if you listen to a colorization uh, you can't do it without physically seeing a movie um the sound quality got bad not because of the colorization now mind you it's because of the solid state components in it okay and when you have color heat you go go touch your computer it heats up doesn't it mine doesn't I've everything got the, heats the, up. i've got the mac m1 max actually it is warm now okay i have it the mac warm. okay if you feel the back of the screen it's actually yeah that's warm. true that's true yeah you could cook, cook an egg back down there okay now in your audio there's a little audio card it's called solid state when you put heat upon solid state and it heats up and you put everything in a little thin you're gonna get saturation ha, cha, 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 cha. Ah, okay okay, <laughs> okay let's is it good is it good saturation or is it bad it's bad it's harsh okay digital is also digital has a delay but intel is not a sound engineer unfortunately intel, neither the, is apple the, the chips okay okay Okay, why is Apple so famous in recording studios? Do you know the answer? I do not know. No, I do not know that. Okay, I'm going to tell you the difference between a $100,000 computer, which would be a server, obviously, and a a Mac Pro (laughs) gaming computer, $15,000 gaming, super gaming computer, and a Mac. What's different? Why does Mac above the rest in recording studios? Have any idea? Marketing, maybe? Marketing? Oh, okay, yeah, marketing is one of them. Yeah. Ding, ding. Okay, that's number three. Okay. Okay, number two would be the software of Mac is actually already, it knows it's, what it's, it's tight. Doing. Yeah, it's tight. It's integrated. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's smart. Okay. okay. Let's just call it smart without all the techno mama jumbo. It, it, and it works within lower power consumption. I will say that. Okay. Ah, okay. That's also good. Noise to ratio I- issue and video. I yep. will say yes. It's a hell of a lot cooler. Yeah. Okay, fine. I didn't say the word clear, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't say clear. <laughs> didn't say clear. No. Sony, Sony. If you want video? It's Sony. Period. Okay. The colorization of Sony is amazing. Okay. okay. Anyway, that's what Apple really is trying to mimicking with Samsung. But you might be surprised if you get out your, you might find a Sony part in there somewhere, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. I don't know. But technically it's LG and Samsung. I can physically say that, yes. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna say 100% sure. You never know with Apple. You just don't know. No. Um, we're not supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the heart of Apple in this recording studio is called MIDI. And when you look at MIDI, you're looking at EMU, Germany, Magic, yeah, and Roland. Okay. Keyboard Roland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Of course, we, we talked about that the other day. Yeah. 
Roland, Japan is superior with solid state logic and Neve and anything, any fader that moves manually, anything is MIDI, Roland is God. There okay. Are gods. So are you, are you so saying, are you saying, saying Apple is such a, is so well known in the music industry because they embraced because the MIDI is, but, but so what yeah, MIDI didn't. Everything else is hogwash. Did not did MIDI it's not exist on PCs Roland. though before that? Like it's all hogwash. You know what hogwash is? Uh, you know what bollocks. Your screen is Apple doesn't pay recording taxes. Neither does Windows. But they're okay. supposed to. Didn't you know that? Uh, they recording taxes because there's no recorder, and everyone is using the computer as a recorder. So you do have to pay recording taxes. Studer did. Roland did. Yamaha did. Oh God. There's endless people. Tascam does, still does today. Tascam, uh, yeah. In fact, the, and Zoom, they have to pay recording taxes. Go, go, go back a yeah. go back a step. So you you were saying that Background the up. Apple computers are so uh, well known and so acclaimed in recording situations, m music recording, yeah. because they embraced MIDI. Is that what you're saying? They used the MIDI of the Roland because they bought the patent of Logitech. Logic? Yep, Logitech. That's all integrated. Okay. Even if you think that you're on um, uh, Discord or iPhone, it all bases, everything goes through Logic. That's Roland. It's just picking off the name of Apple and Logic, and it's just showing Roland. Okay, okay. And I, I could, if you go deep and you dig deep, you will find that the same MIDI pattern all the MIDI patents in the in the Mac, I don't care what application you can get. It's all going to go to that Roland. <laughs> it's the same schematic as the Roland. I okay, know. interesting. I've used I, Roland for almost ten years. I do know that, like in in the in um in the early nineties, Apple computers became super uh, closely linked to video because of the embracement of FireWire, in particular camcorders that had a FireWire port. That's what Apple kind of learned. Oh, okay. If we, if we yes. license. AES. Okay. Firewire is actually lame. Okay. When it comes to ADAT and all these other formats, yeah. I don't care what it is. Thunderbolt, it's all USB. Uh, Firewire is nothing but, a, but an IP. That's actually a weaker. Thunderbolt is a little bit more stable because of the PCI, which right. is fine. Right. But it's still lame um, because music needs voltage. Sorry. Music does. needs voltage. Needs voltage to yes, okay it. so what's the alternative to to firewire aes it's when you what? record a you have to use aes xlr um yeah right xlr i know uh, i know i know what an xlr cable is yeah that's cool okay you know what xlr is. Mm. of course you do <laughs> yeah. i'm, ver I'm very well aware of what they are but so so you're saying that could be a replacement or that could be that should be used no instead you can't of... replace it because of the highs and the lows it's the only cable that can provide proper voltage your from your keyboard whatever it is as long as it's a good cable <laughs> the, the roland one that we're gonna that you're getting speed. it's gonna be delivered soon yeah, for you uh, yeah. you know like a hundred dollar aes cable and i have a lot of them <laughs> um <clears throat> your verter is good is okay let's just say if you have a, a regular focus right converter whatever and it's a usb neumann the person that builds the best microphones in the world, the U47, you know, the German microphone. Right. Sounds German, Neumann. Frank Sinatra. Okay, the list is endless. The Beatles, uh, Paul McCartney. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, it's already come out and said the Neumann's law, it's a Neumann's law, USB is not a professional voltage for microphones. It's for podcasting. Keep it that way. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Only AEM. So when you see a mastering professional engineer, he might use a USB. I'm not going to tell you no, but he's transferring. There's a difference between transfer and physically re-recording or or mastering a whole. It's AES. Right. Okay. So what is the what is the world doing today when they hit the word record? They're podcasting at a micro level, dummy. <laughs> okay you're not so, a studio please give me a break <laughs> okay I, I might as well be a movie i might as well that's why i should this is why a lot of the big recording studios saying 
damn, my cussing's taking over. Sorry to push your ear like that. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm 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 good. I'm I, I enjoy hearing the the. But it's uh, the truth, and this is what you're not hearing from a lot of the big wigs. Yeah, but I do know. I I'll do know from a down. from a, a lot of the my same experience. Comment that they said on the Oscars. This is the same format, but in a different way. Right. You know, we used to walk around saying making the big bucks at the movies now everybody goes to netflix oh hell there goes my career <laughs> who said that at the oscars they they said that at the oscars uh, not me they, is that they before that. or after the slap <laughs> uh it was i think it was i don't know i didn't watch it did well it? i sort of did i did the corner of my mouth i i i I'd seen something before. you watched it i can't I say did. i watched I, the I, whole I, thing i only I watched it because of the slap <laughs> But no, but yeah. I, what you said about USB and, and no, XLR. No, they, they did say it afterwards. Yeah. I um, I know from like, so from my experience with recording and, and, and music and whatnot, I, I was already aware that XLR is where it's at. So when I set up my yes. stuff, I, I always knew that I had to spend more money and get better equipment. So I ended up with... Uh, Apogee Element 46, which is an XLR input through Thunderbolt, okay. and all of my gear, and my and my um, my friends, or let's just call them my contemporaries, that went the USB yeah. route, they all ended up going XLR later on because they realized how lousy the U, even the expensive USB uh, interfaces yeah, like were like somebody, garbage, garbage. I love it when somebody says that. Yeah, I, but I I knew it because because I because I came from the FireWire um yeah. video conversion back in the day and i was like oh i understand how this works because i used to have a um m audio firewire 410 i don't know if you remember that thing that was oh, my first you. interface oh. yeah <laughs> well and then, was, then they I just that one against the wall <laughs> then they just stopped you they stopped uh supporting it they were like oh we're, we're no you yeah. no longer using firewire we're moving towards thunderbolt so this thing's null and void yeah. Then I looked at, and I'm looking at it right now. It's my Element 46, which is how my microphone interfaces. And I, I knew that I could use that for podcasting, live streaming, video production, audio production, yeah. everything. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with. I, I actually, if somebody asked me, Thunderbolt, Firewire, or um, uh, or um, ADAT or ADAT, I should say. Um, SPDF, SPDIF, SPDF, and all that, which is commercial, which is fine for for hearing something, um, not for recording. And that's a big mistake that a lot of a lot of kids make. Right. Uh, actually, FireWire is the most stable out of all of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, this is perfect, dude. You're you're a recording engineer. Let me ask you this. I've got. I'm looking at them right now. I've got KRK Rocket Sevens. In my, these are my studio monitors when I make music. Now, get this. When these things are turned on without anything attached to them, so no XLR cable, just turned on, they have an audible hum. I've gone online, I've looked it up, I've researched. People are saying, you got to get an AC converter, you got to get a grounds multiplier. I'm like, dude, there's nothing plugged in except the power cable. Change power source, Real go one. out into your garage, try the upstairs room, try the downstairs. It makes no difference. These things, when they're on, there's an audible hiss. And it sucks. I've gotten used to it. Tell okay. me why it is. What is it? Okay. Number one, you need to call your electrician and check your voltage. Number two, you need to isolate that main voltage to that single sock. You need to take it off your refrigerator. You need to take it off your, your, your lights. You know this? <laughs> I do know that. Okay. <laughs> that causes hum. Lights causes hum. Unless you got a candle. But don't burn down the place. Okay. Use a battery light. <laughs> so so you're saying okay. the, the, the circuit in the house is causing these things to hum? I can tell you this. Steve Bob in his studio, go look it up. He's got a video. His ground is 10 feet deep. Hang on. His he's ground? Not, he's got... Separate power outages. I mean, separate lanes. Right. Dif different. In other words, he's got a light socket that says, okay, this is my light. And this, he's got a meter for his lights, his console. He's got meters for everything. And they're all separated. Yeah. They're all separate bills. 
And when you said he's ground, you meant the ground, electricity ground. Ten is... feet deep in the ground. To stop that kind That's of thing. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's serious money. Okay. It's, it's, um, it's a custom, custom laid. It's not just laid in there. It's actually custom. Yeah. And it has to be in the right location. Uh, we also have to have, oh God, there's so many other elements in it. <clears throat> But lights is one of the biggest killers. Now he right. does have lights, but it's on a separate switch entirely. Yeah. Now, uh, I will say one thing. It's called the Hum Eliminator. There's a thing called Hum Eliminator. It looks like something similar. It's like a little device. Okay. It has like a looks like your your Mac plug-in sock. You know your your Mac plug into the wall. Oh yeah, yeah the wall thing. Yeah, yeah, the box. Yeah, the, it's a little yeah. small black thing. It's about the size of this. Uh huh. Not Energizer, please. <laughs> okay, it's called. Uh, you look at Sweetwater has it. It's called okay. Hum. Okay. okay. Don't. It's a little, little thing like little, little baby thing. Okay, so now, so there is a way to mitigate it. When I yes, when I when I brought that and you plug it directly into your laptop from your laptop into that switch, but make sure that you're not running half of your equipment on it. Hang on, hang on. Nothing, Plug it into my laptop. It. It, but, but, but You're this... not competing your refrigerator. So th this is why nobody wants to take the time to cut their power switch and bring in a separate power. Yeah, yeah. Well, finances too. But so, but hang on. The the monitors hum. They're not even attached to the to the laptop. They're just now, plugged into the power. Oh, wait a minute. That's just one part of it. Okay. Now, your console, or if you have hardware. The most important thing is your cable. Are you spending about two hundred dollars on the cable? No, these are just XLR cables. No, not two hundred bucks worth. Okay, so you need high end, and they cost around. I say a good one. I didn't say that they, they got some fake ones and they're ridiculous in price. What about five, I would say six, six, six feet, between a hundred dollars, about a hundred dollars to about a hundred and fifty dollars on a cable for a six foot XLR cable. Uh, the shorter the better. I'm going to tell you that right off. <laughs> well, okay. I'm if just you can get at... away with three feet, go for three feet. You can okay. do six feet. You can go up to, I think you can go up to 50 feet. Yeah. I think, yeah. 50 feet. The smaller, the better. Yeah. Um, I always keep that at a very small distance. It's, I mean, it's, if I can get it two feet, I'll do it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Um, the, the, the big thing is, is that between that and also now your hardware, you need what they call, we always use Furman. Okay. It does, allevi it does alleviate homage. Unless you want to get a big one, it's three grand. You don't want that. No. But I will I will buy the $3,000. It's it's a basically, it's, a, it's like a UPS power cleaner, the whole nine yards. Right. So all my hardware is attached to that. But I also have a $30,000 generator. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So you got a UPS and generator at the same time. And yes, yes, okay. simultaneously. Any any device or any hardware I have, they say you're not supposed to. I'll have a UPS, UPS. I'll buy six UPSs. Yeah. Because it cleans the power. I'm constantly cleaning the power. Right, right. Okay. When a surge comes in, that's why I have my generator that gives me a delay. My UPS is good for 30 seconds. I've actually timed that. And, and I could literally be on 24 seven and not have a single glitch. Interesting. So when I, and when I, I when I brought because diesel and I have separate tanks for that seven okay. days because of hurricane, I have to be prepared. Okay. Something now we don't let me have get to you. the part of the homage. What causes the homage is called a loop. Now, if your quality of your gear is a hundred dollars, sorry, Bye. you're going to have hum. Okay. If you have a hundred dollar monitor system, you're going to have definitely hum. It's going to be poor quality. Well, these That's aren't a hundred bucks. The KRK Rocket Soviet. Sevens. They, these were seven hundred or six hundred bucks Australian. Okay, six hundred bucks. Okay, yeah, the Yamahas are great. They hum. Yamaha. Yamaha. Yeah. We use the Yamaha. We listen. We love the Yamahas. Yeah. NS tens, NS H's. We hate them, but we love them because <laughs> we can hear we can hear the bad crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Let's make it sound good. This is a crappy ass speaker. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give me the worst damn thing. I didn't say headphone. I said speaker. Give me the crappiest speaker you can give me. Do you know what? It, it's Australian. 
slap it on the back of the vehicle, slam it up. <laughs> it's it's like it's interesting you should say that because when I when I brought this up with people, they some people said to me, I like the hum. I use the hum to my advantage. It's white noise, and I I oh, tune right. my mixes to include the hum. And I was like, wow, that's an interesting no, way to take it. That's wrong. That's, that's what they were saying there. They were saying, well, well, we can't we can't fix it aside from yes, you, know, you can. It's you isolating. Can well, you well, you're gonna have to reroute the electricity we into use, your house. Use those speakers as what they we call them the reference. Reference. So those are really your reference. Mm. So if I need to hear your podcasting levels, this Mac speaker is perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you good. Yeah. Your iPhone, I hear you really good. Yeah. Put some headphones on. Yeah. I hear you really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but everybody wants to be impressed by using speakers. And I will say, today they have the thing called headphone monitors. They're a hell of a lot cheaper, but a lot better. Right. Quality. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, they can go up to a thousand. I mean, if you're going to spend 700, you might as well spend a thousand five hundred and get the best Sennheiser monitor headphones. Mm. Give your give your the system a break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna encourage you to that because I'm the guy who will buy a um, two hundred fifty five thousand dollar Oceanway H1 uh, Thriller monitor systems. Did you say two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Yeah, each. I have five. Crikey! Look up Ocean Audio, audio uh, H1. I'm, I'm scared to They're look up huge. that cost. I'm scared to do that. I mean, I'm. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm stoked with what I have, and I find. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna prove a point to you. I okay. can spend all that money. But your crappiest speaker. That's who gets it in the end. And guess who else gets it in the end? The USB playback. Oh Jesus! System from Apple. All right, <laughs> all right, iPhone. okay. Let's let's let one. let's change tact here. Let me ask you this: This might throw yeah. you right off. Spatial audio in terms of mixing a record. What's your take on spatial audio? Spatial audio, as in. So right now we're getting uh, stereo mixes for albums, and sometimes they're also doing a mono mix these days to be uh, retro. But now there's also a spatial mix of a record, and it's only available when you wear Kansas, and it's putting, it's using uh, algorithms to place certain instruments and certain oh, sounds yeah, okay, yeah. in a yeah, three-dimensional yeah, yeah. space uh, it's made by Sennheiser I think they also have one that's really for cinema yeah but 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 yeah totally cinema and 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 television but there are records that are being mixed spatially and I'm just wondering yes the Beatles actually did one on a um, 9.3 Adobe right right so that's the the I guess that's the furthest we've heard. You better have at least nine speakers. Yeah. Sub four subwoofers in the room. And he and here's my here's my take on it. Okay, this is this is what I think of this. You don't need if it. that cut to the chase. Yeah, you don't need it. But the reason you don't need it is because when the three dudes in in the case of many bands, you got a drummer, a guitarist, and a bass player. When those three dudes are in a room jamming the shit out of their instruments. They're not putting themselves in all these weird positions with, I only want my guitar amp to come in the top right hand corner of your ears. I only want my bass drum to come out here and I want my hi hats up here. They don't do that. They just smash the shit out and that sounds good. So forget all this fucking spatial shit. Ultimately, unless you're putting Kansas on, if you're sitting in a room, you're not getting spatial audio. You're only getting a stereo mix and that sounds good. How much better do you think you're ever going to get with all this extra? I, I, yeah. I'm going to explain you why we use that. Well, why, I, I, get, I get it for cinema. People, I get it for cinema. Why other people shouldn't. Yeah. Okay? okay. There is very successful billionaires who will go out and spend $2 million on a speaker. Crikey. And that's you can buy a $2 million gold speaker. And that's mono million, at that yeah. point. If you only bought one, unless you that, buy two, you're not getting stereo. Two, that's two million. <laughs> Shit. If you want surround, you yeah. better be a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. You better that's own a small, hey, that's a small island. Hogwarts. Okay, I'm going to break it all down to you. 
Remember a guy named Bob Dylan? I never met the guy, but I've heard his name a lot. He gets kicked around a yeah, lot. I never met him either, but he said something that woke me up. We have two ears and one mind. We record mono. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I... Sometimes mono. We record mono. Do you, do you, do you, are you aware of a guy called Barry Maguire? He, he became famous for his political song, Eve of Destruction, back in the 60s. Do you know that guy? Yes. yes a lot yes. of his recordings, they isolate drums on one, one um, like, total right track only drums and if you yeah. if you take your cancers off you don't hear any drums at all you go okay that's the audio track that's the drum track and it's completely 100 percent hard panned for the entire drum kit and i'm like that and and unless you put cancers on because i've listened to his albums since 1994 or something i never heard it came on my cans i'm like what what seriously that's weird like hard panning the drums all the way to the right channel that doesn't make any sense do, like, would you would you ever do that in a mix? Mm, yes and no, depending on the song. If it's a psychedelical instrumental like jazz fusion, um, where I just want to be different, experimental, yeah. like, excuse my French, blank the world, <laughs> fuck the world, <laughs> right, right. So, so, so you spend you spend all the time like EQing every drum mic and getting everything in place. I get everything the, flawless. At the end, you hard pan it all to the right. So you take the whole thing and you go, whoosh, it's, only in, it's only in this I channel. I won't do that unless the engineer or producer tells me I want it done this way. Yeah. So somebody in the band, we don't do that. We, we're perfectly, we got, we use our ears, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both of them, not just one. EQ. Okay, now. J hang on, hang on, hang on one sec. Just, just to bring in the chat here, because I know we, we've been chatting a lot, but the com there, yeah, there yeah, are people yeah. commenting as well. Sir Rich One says, most people now listening to 15 second clips out of their phone speaker. This is true. Then he also yeah. says, was listening to some classic rock. A lot of it is mono, but a lot of that mono stuff isn't hard panned and that's what i was that's why i brought up barry mcguire yeah, the, specifically actually the beatles uh sergeant pepper there's a lot of things in there some of the beatles yeah that for sure yeah that's true that's true and a lot of people are like really well you well you won't get it on from your iphone <laughs> yeah yeah you won't uh, you won't remember i told you this yeah yeah it's in so, really, so, I was in there. so was that all recorded with one mic is what you're saying or yeah, there was also a, t uh, uh, a commode flush. If you listen to it in uh, mono, what 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 is that? What is the commode you'll flush? You'll hear the you'll hear the commode flush. What, is, what explain that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Somebody was using the restroom as they were recording. The oh, flush. the toilet oh. flush! Right, right. Seriously. Yeah, and this is why they had to do remixes after remixes, and they did some retakes. But so Rich, wanted so Rich says the doors light my fire. Is that a is that a hard pan? I I I can't recall. No. No, the doors actually is, uh, you might want to check with, uh, 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 forget the guy's name, Bosnick or Nick. I'll call him Nick for short. Um, he uh, records everything with no EQ. He did record with tubes, uh, similar to my tube console. It was a like a 610, I think it was a 610. I'm not certain what exactly what model it was. I could be wrong on that, but I know it was a tube console. When you say Probably no EQ, a, you mean a flat EQ, right? There is yeah, EQ. Yeah, no, it's everything just... he records just the direct channel, him, tape, direct, period. You at, at that point though, you want to be pretty confident in the room, right? Like you got to get the room sound yeah, right. Well, at that they had the uh, damn good room. Uh, yeah. And I lo I love that room. And when they went to Sun Studios, uh, there was strange days. They used a reverb. Mm. Uh, two, um, it was two uh, RCA, I think AEA makes it now, two old mics and just a reverb chamber. Right. We call it slapback. Because okay. um, in, in effect, chamber. in effect, if you actually think about it, that sort of is EQ because the room is the EQ. No, the microphone has EQ in it. Now get okay. to the techno point. Okay. Yes and no. You can you can get really you the can get really wanky on this kind of natural EQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody says, well, like, give me some EQ. Well, you're gonna take a U47 sound and, and change it down to God <laughs> shit. Yeah. Crap. And that's why you said before, that's what that's when you mentioned the, the greatest microphone ever, the Sinatra microphone. I can't remember the name of it, but that would only be 
Right, that's only for vocals, right? Because if you put that in a drum kit. No, you can use it for vocals, drums. If you could take just a, a single 1U47, put it in a big room, stick it right in there. Gorgeous. Really? Awesome. Yes, the best. The best. One mic does world. all? Yeah, it does everything. Vocals, piano. Wonderful on piano. Oh God, endless hits. Wow. It's just a microphone that's too good. But here's here's the problem. If you use it on the whole album, you're going to have a problem. If anything's going to sound too good. <laughs> Maybe I've got to get one of these for good. my next That's Is there album. such thing as too good? <laughs> yes, because you need something differential. Uh, to, to make it distinguishable. Like, gotcha. Oh, I like the background vocal. I really love that vocalist. Right. Oh, yeah. I like the background. I like the vocal. I like the back. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> You, too good. you just mentioned you a, uh you just mentioned you marking up you just mentioned using it on a piano where just completely like side note where's the best position to mic up a piano is it over the keys okay. or is it in the side of the thing or is it depending on the piano if you have a big grand piano you would use a u67 tube obviously that's the best okay. and i would use two of them so it depends on your room too mind you Everybody thinks, oh, let me just put in a piano and let, let it be that. No, yeah. you have to experiment. That means you have it on a lever or some really fancy pianos actually have the mic holders on it already. Oh, in position for so, you. Interesting. Yeah, they're getting new technology now. The newer pianos will actually have a microphone holder directly. Huh. Yeah, it's right. already been just like a guy who tunes, tunes your piano. Yeah. Now they're getting in, into that. Funky. It, wow. It's, that, I'm not supposed to say that, but that's the next best thing that's going to be out there. Um, and now they want USB on top of that and put a computer oh, in the piano. Oh, shit. That's, they've ruined it. They've ruined it. Oh, dummy. <laughs> Didn't they learn? Okay. And, and use the plug in too. Ah, oh, shit. It's all, yeah, it's that, all gone to hell, isn't it? That's what you can do with digital. Okay. It's good and bad. It's yeah. a tool. Do, do you think do you think when you mic up a piano do you want to hear the fingers touching the keys or do you not want to hear each... okay number one when i do the piano okay everybody has their own technique so i'm not going to say what is right and what is wrong you use your own ears yeah and if you're deaf bring somebody else in the room <laughs> if you're deaf you're in the wrong in you're, you're in the wrong industry <laughs> it's really good here yeah, yeah. it sounds really good okay. he hasn't started right, playing good. yet no but it sounds great back yeah. here how many drinks have you had? Yeah. I haven't had no, no drink yet. Okay, good. The guy, the guy's not even in the room, and it sounds good. Saturday. Okay, um, I, I'm actually okay. You see, you see my uh, no, I don't think you see it. Okay, here you go. I'll give you full screen props. I'll give you a clue. I'm making you full screen. Okay. I'm also scratching my nuts while I'm off camera. Okay, you see this? Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. It's. Is it in there? Yeah, uh, there it is. Oh, there yeah. Oh, wow. See that? Okay, that's well. This I got it set up for vocals because I have my own little light thing going on here. <laughs> I use a light. See, my light is right here. You got a light there for your vocal recording? What? I got a light for my vocal because I never turn on my light. Oh, because you're doc you're recording everything as well, of course. So you want to right yeah. when I'm recording. This is a battery thing, so I disconnect the battery, and I got my own light thing going on here. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know if it's plugged in. It's probably dead, which is a good thing. Yeah. All right. But anyway, yeah, because it's not plugged in. So that's my first thing I do. Okay, now on the boom, and I also use the light as a measurement as well. And I'll, I'll get on that in a minute. See, this has a hole in it. See the hole? Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's a ring light. Now, I'm also going to take something else here, and I'm going to put a pencil in between that. So I literally put shadow right huh. where I want it. See what I'm getting at? Okay. So now you can pinpoint exact. Oh, hey, hey, where was it? Oh, 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 it was right there. You stick a piece of tape <laughs> or invisible liner if you want, or take gotcha. a picture. <laughs> yep. That works. <laughs> Be taking a lot of pictures. Uh, generally, I keep it at an arch outside the piano. I see a lot of people putting it inside the piano. Okay. It depends. If it's not a Steinway, do not put it in the piano, please. <laughs> You've heard okay, it here, folks. <laughs> if you have a Yamaha, back off. Okay, <laughs> it's a hard piano. Okay. Steinway is beautiful, baby. Okay, it doesn't matter. So you want it closer to better. 
because it's a master. The Steinway is a master piece of art. Okay. Uh, you could take the crappiest Steinway. It's going to sound awesome. It's how the tone keys, you know, they're very soft and what have you. Uh, generally, you have up to two microphones. So I'd have a what they call a room mic. Mm -hmm. a room mic. And then I use, uh, some people use pencil mics, you can. I generally like tubes, so it's a U67, and then I'll have it closer. So this way I have two samples. Okay. Because remember, you got this whole big room you're looking and, at. I mean, is that, in, like, the reason I asked you is because there's bass and treble on a piano. So is it important to, to separate the two, or is it important to keep you them as You can do anything one? in your room, but I'm going to tell you, it's not your microphone. It's not your piano. It's your room. Yeah. Soundproof your damn room. <laughs> That's that's kind of why I said Here's before the e, the EQ if you it's the room yeah it's the room yeah okay the bigger the room okay my minimum measurements okay if you want to get excellent EQ kids okay you don't need to use it you need a room at thirty two by twenty six kids I didn't say seventeen I didn't say sixteen so I what this is the golden this is the golden size of a recording room for any that instrument is a mastering because everyone's recording by computer that's called mastering podcasting at a mastering public level you all are mastering nobody's recording <laughs> okay so if you're gonna do it you need a big room okay mm. You've heard it here. Okay. <laughs> mastering uses the average mastering room is 26 by 32 kids. 26 Congratulations. By okay. You killed my analog. You took out the recording. You took out the quality wow and fluffer factor. You're not going to get that in digital, baby. Okay. And we're real time. Hey, oh, um, Kicking this, Saturday, just a slight pause here. I do see someone else wants to join our conversation. Right, Let me, I don't know who this is. Um, this could go all kinds of wrong, but uh, I'm going to bring them no, in. No, it's fine. I, yeah. I love criticism. I love somebody to come say, well, digital's better than analog. But we'll see. We'll see what we got here. Um, hello, random oh, hello. streamer. <laughs> How you doing? Who hello. are you? And uh, welcome to the stream. Uh my name's Ace and Deuce. I just randomly found you guys. I just wanted, I, I just really, this is my first time here. I just really wanted to understand what the program was about, honestly. And I thought the best way to do so, since it's open calling, was to call in and ask. Hey, what a great idea. So so we refer to you as Ace, Aeson? Yeah, you can call me whatever you like, honestly, as long as I know you're referring to me. Cool. <laughs> oh, Ace, your, um, your headroom, you, up yeah, your and camera and it's like that is I do not have a shirt on currently and I wanted to make sure if that was okay with your program. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Here. Yeah, I think I think we're fine with that. Um <laughs> okay, you, all right, cool. Yeah, I, we're I cool. was like sitting here like concerned because like I've like, I've had called into programs before and then they're just like, all right, no, it's a problem. Nah dude, it's like bad. a shirt off is fine. I mean I, I often stream down by the That's beach. Right, That's man. all cool. That's all cool. Yeah, dude. It's okay. I always just gotta enough. check, you know, you gotta always make sure. I appreciate you asking first. Very well, very good manners. Asen, the idea of this stream um, wasn't, it's really just an open chat. Like, yeah, like I know Kicking Saturday from from my DLive streams. He's a he's a, a sound engineer and he has his own really? studio. And so we just got chatting about that. It, it wasn't a plan, but I love that conversations can flow like this. Um, yeah, do you, do you have any any uh, additional information about recording? Uh, what's what's your what's your what's your thing about recording? Wait, what? Yeah, just I don't know. We're just oh. talking about studios and, and mixing and sounds. Oh, I, and, I mean, like as far oh, no, as like we're, we're talking about anything. It's fine. As far as like audio recording, not much. But as far as like video recording, I'm actually in the one studio that I've made. <laughs> I see the boxes like, behind made, you. I'll show you. Like this is the one thing I put the most effort into. It's super scuffed. It's made of cardboard and tape. It's made of cardboard tacks and 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 literal just regular sheets. Not even like non fitted sheets. Just fitted sheets that I've taped, like tacked to the ceiling. Okay. Now you. <laughs> yeah. Cool. 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 I was gonna say you do have pants on, right? Now, video podcasting and editing, or maybe for a small. He film, just he just froze. Yeah, you can do it in a ten by ten room. Or even a ten by five. You just oh, dude, your your audio your audio is gone. You're you're muted. And, and vocals, vocals, vocals. Yeah, not he, drink, vocal. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me now? No. That's better. Yeah, we got you now. Yeah. yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, videos are a different. Oh, he just game. he just jumped out. I didn't I didn't kick him out. He just jumped out then for a second. 
Uh, sounds like he's back yeah. in again. I'll get, I'll pop him back in. Yeah, you, you just you just bumped out for a second there. I think I knew, I, I, knew I, I had to reload for it to work. It's a weird thing sometimes. You can hear me now, right? Yeah, I think yeah. you might have a loose connection or something, but it it's just kind of it wobbled it's out. Really frustrating. Where the heck is my little screw <laughs> for this? What is that kicking Saturday? That's rough. I'll show you without it. Well, I'll show you just Hero. holding it there. Yes. So like the Eldorado. 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 I was trying to make like a painting set up. I'm trying to make a painting set up. Rum, 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 rum. It's rum. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So oh like, yeah. I, I, was, I was trying my hardest to match, you know, Bob Ross. I was trying to match like that as much as I could. Okay. Just in my like room here, you know. Cool, cool, cool. It's like it's, it wasn't easily done, but like the idea was like take the canvas and kind of put it like I can't frame it exactly well without having it on the tripod. But yeah. Fair enough, man. It, it's right? it's it's, like, it's it frames a little bit better when I actually have the tripod on there. But yeah, like, you gotta do that. You the can... funny part about this was the whole reason I made this whole thing was because about three months ago I got obsessed with the idea that I could make a Bob Ross painting on sugar cookies, and then I just did it. <laughs> I just did it. I That's did multiple cool. of them. Okay. Your yeah, um, your your voice, time, your voice sounds familiar to me. Are you? Do you do any streaming at all? Like you, you've got a very yeah, familiar. I yeah. I stream a lot on uh Twitch, more, more specifically. Like uh. Okay. I was like, I was actually gonna ask you guys, like, what made you choose like uh, YouTube and DLive for your stream? Um. Well, for me, DLive, uh, I watched a PewDiePie video back in April 2019, and that was the compelling reason to come across and try DLive. Um, so the things what, that he what mentioned. Video compelled you? What's that? Sorry? Which video compelled you? Could you uh, a P PewDiePie, so this this big YouTuber, he made a he made a video explaining why okay. he's going to jump on to DLive. Uh, well, okay. he was contracted, but he made a video explaining all the, the pros and cons of it, and it was pretty compelling. Pretty compelling. Mm -hmm. Mind you, all those reasons that he stated back in those days, they no longer exist. Uh, all the good things about yeah. DLive have gone. But That is one thing that is kind of... Uh, it, like, DLive, to me, is just an interesting idea. But sadly, I just don't think that they have, like, much audience, honestly. Like, because, like, it's just... Like, I just don't think there's much discoverability there because I just feel like people are going to be on the bigger platforms if they're going to just be looking for new things. This is Unless true. they're like people like you and me that are just actually deeply interested in these kind of things. And they're just like, okay, DLive would be an interesting place to find new interesting content. Yeah, this is true. Kiki Saturday? Nature break, I'm going to be right back. No worries. But I'm, Take... not, I'm not leaving. I'm going to leave it on. That's fine. No worries. But, yeah. He's taking a slash. Oh, we got Jake in the house too. Jake, I'm going to add you. It's funny though that you hey. say that. Because hey. like, uh, I actually planned on doing another. I have another thing that I've just been doing lately. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Hey, Ace, can you can you put your camera down? It's it's much oh, yeah, better sorry. if you just put it in a stationary yeah, position. Kind of... One second. Let me just... But I'm going to bring Jake in too. Jake's here. Jake, how you doing, man? What's up? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Jake, meet Ace, and Kicking Saturday's just gone out to the bar. I've got to take a slash, too, uh, in a second. Um, yeah. Jake, do you How know you Ace? Doing? Ace, do you know Jake? Oh, I do not. Well, now you know each other. <laughs> I know Kicking uh, Kickin Saturday actually came into my stream one day. Kicking Saturday actually came in a couple days ago. Is that right? Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, by the way, I, what, what, what the f what the f? What's up? What's what wrong? What the f? D live. You, you got another streak on D live? Me? When? No, you're restricted. No, I'm not. Not that I know of. What's uh, that, what are you talking that, that, about, Jake? Am I banned on D live again? This is. This is news to me. I'm just checking on a separate browser here. I did not see anything. I did not know anything. That, that tweet, that that tweet that you uh, posted. That was to YouTube to try to get. I asked YouTube. No, no, the the. the let me let me read the tweet. Let me go to Twitter. A tweet hey, that I saw that you. Hey Jake, can I leave you with the stream for a second while I take a quick slash? All right, all right. You, go you're ahead. gonna have full screen here, Jake. Uh oh. It's all Jake. Uh oh. What is up? Oh shit. What is up? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? How are you? What's up? I'm 
I'm back. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Kicking Saturday? <laughs> yeah. I'm drinking. Hey, you been in my, you was in my stream D Live a couple days ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the D Live, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a problem texting, though. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes it, it, I text one thing, winds up another. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that. What's yeah. up, guys? What's up, Buzzer Bob? What's up? Oh. There's a console. Because... Oh, damn it. We can't see it because uh, Gibbs put, put me on the screen. Oh, okay. That's all right. So you so, can uh, hear me. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we. Not been, all right. So he needs to take that tweet out. He has There's a tweet that on his thing... It says your channel. Oh shit! Oh, there we are. Hey, hey, there oh, he is. Oh shit! My bad. I just pressed a few <laughs> wrong buttons. Sorry about that. I had to go to the bathroom as well. Yeah, that's. You got uh, your little hum. You got your hum blocker there. Uh, kicking Saturday. Yeah, hum blocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Right. And it's also oh. use Thunderbolt as well. Oh yeah, true, are true. We, are, are we M tagged? We're M tagged. We are M tagged. You can cuss if you wanted to, and I did shit, drink fuck, a shit, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. I drank a beer. Do we get it out of your system a little bit? Yeah, exactly. It's always fun to just like sit there and just randomly start cursing. Yeah, true, true. Hey, um, can I by make the way... Go for it. <laughs> yeah. This is vodka and coke. Vodka and coke. There. Hey, um, go ahead, Jake. I... I've been I've been actually having a good week. I had oh, a yeah? March. March was actually good for me. And today, today, um, Friday, I had three people bought me over some stupid stuff, and I'm just like, should I keep streaming, or should I drop streaming and go back to YouTube? Videos? Yeah, right. Let me um let me bring Ace into the conversation because Ace, you did say that you stream on Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. What made you choose Twitch? I mean, that's frankly just because it's the biggest platform and it has been for a long, long time. Yeah, it just like it, it, it just like uh, it's the one I was most familiar with as well. At one point, I got banned yeah. on Twitch for a week just through complete nonsense. It's not worth getting into, but like. It was just like I, I, in that time I went and explored the other platforms more so. Right. And I actually like streamed on YouTube one time. I did like a free stream thing where it tried to do it on multiple platforms. Yeah. And then it made me think like I saw like the pros and cons of doing it by like actually doing it, you know? Yeah. And yeah. it was like it's yeah. an interesting thing to think about. Like it really is. I, I the, the thing that's the thing that I think is really frustrating about it is that some like it's the, it, there's no real like 100 percent right solution you know like it's a weird thing like it's like uh each thing has their pros and cons and it just kind of comes down to like whatever you want to get out of it you know i mean like there's benefits to being able to do like restreaming like this going through like youtube and all the other platforms at the same time oh there's a little bit of glare versus, on that versus twitch where you have to be on just twitch yeah, you know, yeah, almost, I see. Yeah, because Twitch, to be Twitch, to be if you get affiliated, you've got to be exclusive, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I'll uh, type it in chat. Hang on. How do I type? Is there a way yeah. to type in chat through this? Yeah, man, type in the YouTube uh, chat. What's Ace's oh, yeah, handle on Twitch? YouTube yeah, there chat. you go. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not subscribed. Hold on, let me type subscribe. Hang on. Yeah, uh, um, here, here's the, also the thing is, it's like when you get partner, you, you have to be exclusivity. That's right, the, yeah. And then, and then you have to wait like a day for your, for you. For, the thing is when, when I became, um, when I became, when I, I'm not, a lot of people wanted me to become affiliated, but here's the thing, the paperwork. Right. Oh, crap. Ace, can you not, can you not want... type a link? You won't, won't let you put a link? You oh yeah. Let me, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't even, I thought it would shut me down if I did that. <laughs> I don't, I didn't turn links off. I, I think links should be fine. Oh, okay. I thought it would, I thought it would just like, like freaking, uh, not let me type a link. I'm yeah, always no. being used to chat. Yeah, not let me it, type it, a link. Sometimes I, it try. Does it. I mean, it might, it might be a thing, but I didn't set it up that, that way, but, uh, it typed it in there. It, I don't know if it showed up, but I typed it in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I, I see was that was you following on YouTube. You just subbed over on YouTube. Ace and Juice just became oh, yeah, a giveaway by something. Thank you, man. Uh, that's weird. Yeah, hey, it's still. Hey, I, I, I got to take a slash. I got to take a slash. Be right back. No worries, Jake. Take you, a slash. Uh, yeah, man, it didn't come up. I'll, but I guess you can click your handle and then go oh, yeah, to it from there. Type. I mean, it's literally the same thing. I can be like, oh, I'll do it like this. Because, like, I can do it like this. Uh... What are you showing us there, Kicking Saturday? These are these are the behind behind your... What do you got there? That should work. There you go. TV slash Twitch. I can... I can um... Yeah, that'll work. They'll at least give people an idea. <laughs> I can do it. I can grab it from here. TV... Twitch.tv. Yeah. I do a lot of weird stuff. Like, recently. Like, today. Well, I appreciate you calling, uh, coming in, man, because, like, like you said, like you said, um, this is, my stream title says call in, you know, open mic. So you, you took That's it up idea. and, like, you're the only person that did. Out of, out of the entire YouTube universe, you're the only person that yeah. actually took up that offer. So I, 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 I have, that, man. I have a That's thing in the back of my brain that says if anyone says that they want to call it, they want call-ins, I'm going to call in. Yeah, man. Yeah, like that's that was the like, point I of it. I like... go out of my way to go on YouTube and on to go on YouTube and on uh, Twitch and just like well on Twitch as you go through like some weird tools, but like I just search for like streams that are doing call-ins and just call them up. Why not? <laughs> so hey, totally, man. Uh, Jake's back as well. Jake, let me just pull you back in, yeah. my friend. Jake Ski. Like, you ever heard of the game Marbles on the Stream? Marbles yeah, on the Stream. Uh, Marbles yeah. on Stream. A Pixel by Pixel Studios. I know who Pixel. I actually it's got. A good to. game, dude. I was just like. I've been. I've been on the. I've been on that game since season three. I love happened. that game. <laughs> by the way, um, by the way, I could you you could have told me that you put me in the backstage area, Gibbs. I could have told you. What do you mean? You could when, have said, "Hey, I'm putting you," because I thought you were going to put the slash, uh, the slash. Oh slash. right, no, that's yeah, yeah, that's a D Live one. I don't have that with me. I'm I'm on YouTube, so I don't have the same setup, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. So uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I I, I didn't realize we were, we were we were we were on YouTube. We were on YouTube, not D Live, so we couldn't use the slash. It's all good. No, dude, it's 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 completely fine. I'm I'm on I'm, I'm on both, but I'm using my YouTube yeah. stream setup. That's the only yeah thing. yeah. But here. It, Here's the thing, you know. The thing is, it's like with you, with uh, with uh, Twitch and stuff. It's like with uh, stream teams and stuff. I could actually. Um, uh, this is something that I wish YouTube could have done: is uh, let people, uh, let people like choose a stream team or like a team, make yeah. teams here on YouTube. Because it's like, you know, D Live, you can do it, Trogo, you can do it, Twitch, you can do it, but here on YouTube, and and the Twitch teams can actually help. You know, now you have. You ever heard of. You ever heard of Machinima? Yeah, dude. The streamer? There's the streamer. Machinima, the. the uh, streamer, YouTube. No, the, it's been a long time. It's yeah. an MC. It's a former. It's, it's a. It's a MCN that uh, is. If you want to jump to the rabbit hole, that's a. Oh, we got we got a celebrity. We got Green Bay Wacky. Hey, Green Bay Wacky, you, uh... how you doing, man? Lurking, just listening. Hope you well, Gibbs. Thank you, Green Bay. I'm doing well, dude. And thank you, Kicking Saturday, for that lovely tour of the back area of your studio, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we saw it all. Yeah. yeah, it's big. It's big, dude. It's a high. It's a high ceiling too in there. Like I notice how high up it goes. Yeah, Twenty feet. That's what. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Yeah, rad. Rad, dude. Very cool. Yeah, um... Sorry, Jake, I cut you off. What What is the? Are Are we gonna do cap game today or? Is it no, just... no, not today. This we're, we're gonna wrap this up sort of relatively soonish. I just wanted to do a come out here and have a good chat and and kicking Saturday. I appreciate you, uh, yeah, giving us the full. I mean, I could talk yeah. music shit with you forever. Hey, in, I really want to hook you up Great. with my friend Lockie, the sound engineer with Tracer, because if he came on these streams, he could just, you guys would be just talking and talking and talking, and I'd love to hear. I, I, I love hearing this conversation. I love hearing about studios and recording yeah. techniques and things. It's, it's Actually, exciting. I have six boxes of CDs. I just haven't gone through them. Six boxes of what CDs? 
Uh, you know the big, uh, big plastic lid that you cover the big boxes, like storage About boxes. Yeah. Yeah, the big, the big one. I have six of them loaded yeah. with C. To I listen to. I haven't listened to all of them though. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's the um what's the next project you've got coming up? Like, who's the next artist you'll be working with? What's 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 well, on the horizon? Um, I wasn't. Uh, I had a problem with Def Leppard because it didn't go through because right. of the pandemic. <clears throat> I also uh, a lot of the uh, the filming industries uh, partially shut down because you know the pandemic again. Yeah. Um, my uh, producer, who I love very much, uh, did die of COVID. Oh shit! I got a lot of things against me, here. Um, and so dealing with my parents. My my dad's eighty four years old. My mom's eighty seven. Stepmom, wow. not my real mother. Um, so it's like a lot of things going on. Yeah. Um, so when you set a studio down for two years and you don't really do anything, you sort of closed. <laughs> yeah, right. So you've been shut down for the last COVID two years. Yeah, so now I'm, I want to rebuild a bigger facility yep. and uh, do it the right way. Yeah. So okay. this this gear really belongs. Hey, any Australian wants a, wants a has the room, needs a studio, I'll ship it. Shit. But fifty fifty. <laughs> I'll tell you what I will do. I will I will send a link. This, this link. This needs to a home. That this needs gear a home. needs a home. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. See what yeah. I'm getting at? All right. Um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the link to Lockie of this stream later on and just say, check this replay out. We had a chat with Kicking Saturday, and I'm sure he would love to talk to you. And I mean, he, he's probably, he's not looking to open up a studio, but he's definitely, he would talk and talk and talk about it. So, yeah. So hang on, let, let, let's 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 go around. Kicking Saturday, can I can I say uh, thanks for calling in? Thanks for the chat. And and do you want to just um, before I let you go, Kicking Saturday? Do you want to just like promote yourself a little? Tell everybody where they can go to find you if they want to see more about you. Whatever. I'm that... private. I support uh, gives a minute one hundred percent at this current time. Um, I'm not Jesus. actually able to do a recording, so I'm going to give my thanks. Because you gives a minute are my only friend right now. <laughs> oh. Shit. So, okay. Well, I appreciate you, man. You. Thanks for calling and, uh, in. Yep. Keep safe. Yep. All right, man. We'll talk again soon, dude. Thanks, right, Kicking Saturday. Everyone. All right. That was rad, man. That was rad. I'm stoked he called in. I'm stoked we had a good chat. Very, very cool. Yeah. Very, very smart, man. Um. Because we haven't heard much from Ace, I'm gonna go Jake yeah. first. We'll say, Jake, do you want to just say a, a, a farewell to everybody? We we see you a lot, Jake, and Ace we have never met before. So yeah, uh, you see me. You, you actually have seen this is. I'm I am actually a regular in these call-in stuff, and yeah, thank God you didn't ask for me to be a it, be a rose giver this time. Well, this is this is a YouTube stream, so we're not really following those rules this time, but. I appreciate you, Jake. Yeah, um, I also want to say that number one, support gives. Give him a super chat over if you're on DLA. Give him some lemons. Sub to the guy. He needs it. Thanks, man. He needs the money. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Jake. All also, right, I'll talk. Also, uh, go uh, ahead. Sorry. Now go ahead. All right. I, I just want to say also it's support. By the way, I I didn't get to say this before but i did bite the bullet and got the and got the peacock premium i paid the 4.99 for peacock premium so i'm watching wrestlemania tomorrow uh, tonight actually be tonight what did you buy sorry uh, a, a uh, subscription service for for wrestling uh, it's a it, you, you guys have over there in, in australia you have the wwe network i have okay. peacock, we had to get peacock because WWE sold the rights uh, they, they 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 shut down the network for the united states and they put it on the on the cock okay well, I, I don't follow it i don't i i'm stoked that you've got it i don't know what it is doc but... spills in it doc spills in it logan paul's in it uh pat mcafee from the, okay. from uh from the colts you know if you don't follow it but you also 
I realize one. I realize I am streaming on YouTube, but I couldn't give a fuck about Jake Paul. So I'm not following it. I'm not Logan interested Paul, in it. Logan, uh, not, not, not Jake Paul, Logan. It was Logan. They're all the same. I, could, I appreciate that you're into it. It's not something I'm interested in at all, but cool. Also, uh, if uh, this this guy looks like... You ever seen the show... Uh, if, if you ever heard of the TV show uh, Live Free or Die, the guy looks like one of the guys from Live Free or Die. Okay, you got a doppelganger out there, Ace. Jake, oh, what? I do. We'll see you next time, Jake. Yeah. Take care, All right, man. Bye. All right. Before we get to Ace, I just want to say uh, in the chat, uh, Sun and Clouds. Hello, Sun and Clouds. Blubber Bob, MD Wit. I did see the host over on D Live. I am streaming on YouTube, but I am obviously restreaming it out there to to both. But predominantly, this has been a YouTube stream, just for just for shits and giggles, just to do something different on a on a Saturday afternoon. And this gentleman we've got here, Ace and Juice. Dude, I really appreciate you um, you coming in and taking up the offer to come on a chat. It's it's, yeah. it's commendable, man. So if Colin's encouraged. I called in. <laughs> are you Canadian, man? You got you got a bit of a Canadian accent. I, I am not. <laughs> no, okay. I thought I heard you do a little bit of an aboot before, and I was like, oh, that sounds a bit Canadian. Oh, no, I, I do a lot of weird stuff with my voice. It's just fun to do. Okay. Okay. But, uh... Cool. <laughs> well, um, yeah. so I mean. Thinking about YouTube and thinking about DLive and different streaming platforms and Twitch, from an outsider's perspective, what would it take for DLive to be better? I mean, I don't even know, honestly. I think it just needs to have like more of an audience, frankly. But like, I don't even know if like, I also don't know much about like the payment side of DLive. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily even more worthwhile for streamers because like. I've streamed on it, but I have not gotten to the point where they'll pay me. So I don't know necessarily what that's like as far as payments work. You know what I mean? See, that's interesting. What, you you, you asked me before about the PewDiePie video and what it, what I saw and what it was. Well, mm. one of the things back then in April 2019, you actually earned Lino by streaming, which was that was the in-app currency yeah, at the time. Yeah, there was a weird thing where you were earning crypto. Yeah, I remember yeah. that vaguely. And as you streamed, you earned more Lino and your audience earned it by watching. So there was this mm. double up payment system where if you got a big crew over to watch you, they would be earning and you'd be earning. I'm like, you could watch a whole day worth of YouTube content and you're never going to get anything aside from the education. Right. Yeah. I remember that that was the case like far in the past. I remember like vaguely, I was like, yeah, that was some kind of crypto freaking like web three integration with the website that I don't remember what the heck it was. I was like, I still like, there's still like weird vestiges of it on the website where you're just like, wait, what is this? It it's still like, mentions it in the, in the terms. Crypto. Yeah. They, they have a look at a lot of it and you're just like, wait, is this still crypto related? What's going on here? Yeah. And I was like, it just, it takes a little bit of like, you're like the first time I looked at it, it was just like it took me a little bit, and I was like, "Oh wait, is this just a crypto thing too?" Yeah, yeah, fair, it like, fair. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a confusion when you come from outside and you look at D Live. It's confusing to work out what it actually is. It, it says it's decentralized. Oh, you just bumped out. I didn't, I didn't do that. Ace just bumped out. I did not, I did not do that. Ace just bumped himself out. You saw my hands. I'm still here. My hands is a. I mean, we're going to wrap it up anyway, but I was going to give Ace the chance to promote himself, but he did promote himself before. He's on Twitch and his handle is Ace and Deuce. You can see it in the YouTube chat, um, but I am going to bump out anyway. But Ace, dude, this is, a, I guess, a direct message to Ace if you're watching this at this particular point and you're thinking, I just subscribed to this channel because I came in on as a guest. What am I going to see on his content? Well, you were going to see a bunch of different stuff. I do a lot of surfing, uh, do a lot of music streams. I'll always begin my streams on both YouTube and DLive, and then I'll tell you to come over if you want to watch the rest of the stream on DLive. So if you see if you see me go live on YouTube on YouTube, I'll often say come over come over here to DLive if that's the idea. Today it was like we're going to do one on YouTube only, and that's why we're here right now on the tubes of you. But if you do see me go live and you're thinking oh he's live again, cool, I'll often promote that I'm on YouTube or on DLive. Laptop died. Yeah, no worries, dude. I, man, I was just going to give you the chance to say ta-ta and farewell. But, dude, I really, I just want to thank you once more for coming in, man. Not just coming in, but also the sub. You know, you did subscribe on YouTube. That's really cool, man. My channel is kind of in a weird sort of funky 
dead position these days. So any help is appreciated. Even the view is helped, uh, appreciated. And the likes too, dudes. What am I looking at here on my, on my stream here? I see 16 likes. That's rad, dudes. 16 likes. Very, very, very nice of you to all like the stream. Much appreciation. And everybody that was chatting in, in the in the DLive chat as well, I did see a little bit of that as we went along, but predominantly I was only looking at this chat here on YouTube. Thanks for having me. No worries, man. Yeah, no worries, dude. Don't be a stranger. Any other time, you're obviously welcome. But I'm going to wrap this up here. Thanks again, Kicking Saturday. Dude, great to talk to you. Jake, always a pleasure to have you on when you sling in for a bit of a chin wag. And thank you, Sharla Rose, for the super chat way back at the start of this stream. Much appreciation, Sharla. I hope you're feeling better after her throat surgery. Shit, she had an esophagus surgery. Ah, that sounds bleh, painful. She seems like she's okay. I'll see you, Yahoo's, tomorrow on D Live for a shunting five. Shit, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here.